Good evening, good evening everybody. I hope you've had a lovely weekend so far. Let's swap on over to the regular scene and come on in to Samadan and swap that over there. Let's test up audio one. Good evening, oh, good evening Rose, uh, Foxibi, um, Stopcraft, uh, Lazelle, Silent Mouse, um, uh, Detlev Boy, uh, Darkwing, Lots of people in tonight. Uh, Miss, J uh, Miss Juicy, good evening to you. Blame Tanks, thank you for the follow. And Cashel Bunny for your follow earlier. Thank you both. Um, Adriana, uh, Snackham, got Darkwing, uh, Drizzling, uh, Deviated Path, Kalaro, uh, Mr. Weakheart, uh, Keloth Ian, everyone's in here. Uh, Apophis, apologies if I do miss anyone here. I'm just scrolling up quickly. Uh, Daily Show. Uh, sadly, we couldn't unfortunately get. Uh, Hopefully we can uh, downsample this time. It's one of those things with uh, Twitch uh, streaming when you start that um, the transcode option isn't always available as an affiliate um, that you can't sort of downsample it. So hopefully you can get that sorted out all right. Uh, Spirit Wolf, um, Pebbles, good evening to you. Air surfing. <laughs> I'm, on my, I'm on my flying carpet today. Uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of tailoring nostalgia here. Um, time to head back to Comstomp. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with Comstomp. I've done it for each of the characters as uh, just to get the quest and the five then. Um, <laughs> I will show you the world, Rose. <laughs> Marsburg, good evening to you. Um, uh, Trash Panda, good evening to you. Hope you're doing well. I hope you've all had a really good weekend. Um, maybe made lots of gold. Um, if you're here in the UK, enjoy the glorious weather we've had this weekend. It's been absolutely amazing. I spent a lot of time with my family, um, either outside in the garden repairing a fence or inside uh, playing board games. So it's all been lots and lots of fun. I've been sunbathed. I don't sunbathe, no, but um, I was out uh, fixing the fence, so um, it was nice to be out in it anyway. Uh, good evening, Gwilin. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, you're farming for the 100,000 honor, you're at 45,000. Okay, so that's nearly halfway there, so uh, not too bad. Uh, creative, good evening to you. I hope you're having a nice evening. So we've got a lot of things to do tonight. Um, obviously we have the Wowhead blog going live at some point. So once that goes live, we'll go through and we'll discuss all the things there. We've got lots and lots of gold tips uh, this week. So lots of people in the community have been getting their um, long boy and sharing their, their tips and strategies. And so there's a couple of good videos there and also a few other sort of like general tips and things that I've um, gleaned from the lovely community. So thank you all for contributing. Um, I've put another TSM tip in there as well. So hopefully that will be useful to people. Uh, it was a nice day on your balcony. Oh, fantastic. Some, some burns, I guess. I'm not too bad when it comes to uh, the sun, even though I am sort of a, a redhead um, by genetics. Um, I've also inherited my father's genes of uh, being able to tan at least a little bit, so I'm not too bad. Um, you saw a long boy once, it was nice. <laughs> if you're after it, uh, deviated path, you still have time. Um, Goalkeeper Motion, good evening to you. Um, weather's been outstanding here in Denmark as well. Um, came on WoW uh, one and a half hours ago and saw you sold a black tabby for 82,000. Very nice. Uh, only three levels away from three alts from having all 11 alts ready for wool farming. That sounds like you're all set up then, Rose. That sounds brilliant. Um, you got your long boy this week? Uh, had no idea how much it would help. Congratulations, Zell. If I haven't said congratulations already, let's see. Lots of um, Brutosaur emotes in the chat for you. Congratulations. There's been lots of, lots of people have been uh, getting their long boy recently, and it's absolutely fantastic to see. Um, lots of people uh, making the most of it before it disappears, certainly. But congratulations to you. Um, we have uh, even more time to go. I heard that Shadowlands has been delayed to 2021. Oh really, um, Spite? Where did you um, where did you hear about it being delayed from? I've not heard that one yet. But to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Um, obviously, all of Blizzard are working from home now. Um, I'm sure they're still being able to carry on production from home. I mean, uh, it's the sort of thing that you can do. But that said. Um, I'm sure they want to make it the best thing possible, and obviously with everything that's going on at the moment, um, maybe they just need to, uh, a bit more time on it. They were talking about it earlier, don't know if it's official. Okay, so um, yeah, in terms of um, supposition, I guess it would make sense, but I'm not sure exactly. Uh, Bellula says he likes to be a great delayed, uh, rather they take their time. I think so, I think it would be... Um, 
a, a harken back to that mentality that Blizzard had right back in the beginning days when um, it was the same when I was at Rare in, in that you say basically it'll be done when it's done we will spend as much time on it and we'll release it when it's ready and nothing before then and I think that's a, a great philosophy um, when you're doing uh, games of this kind certainly uh, I think I'm going to have a uh, wave goodbye to the uh, to the soul came back uh, last month started on a different server, the only profession you have at the moment uh, for BFA is engineering. Um, yeah, that can be a, tri a tricky one, engineering. I've not got it myself. Um, but maybe you can find some other ways, uh, Trash Panda, because Kuhn was able to do it without any professions and he literally focused on gathering. So I believe there's a way, certainly. Uh, Zimpel, good evening to you. Uh, everything is uh, lovely with me. And John, good evening to you as well. Sam is great and has great friends. Oh, thank you, Lizelle. Uh, I'm glad we could help you on your journey to the long boy, certainly. If there's one more BFA, uh, I'm not sure uh, Blizzard will recover it. Well, I guess that's down to a, um, a large, large amount of opinion, because I personally have really loved uh, BFA, but then I wasn't doing any of, sort of the high-end raiding, things like that, so I understand my perspective is very much skewed, perhaps. But more brutal sort of time, if it is um, delayed, certainly. Um, Better expansion is more players is actually a, a good idea as well. Um, you've taken so many breaks this expansion, you're literally just returning back um, after a six month break. Oh, really deviated? Um, I guess that's that's where I differ in, in the sense that I've I've not stopped. This is the first um, expansion in a long time that I've gone all the way through it. Um, unless you're going to make an auction house mount for the, each expansion, maybe maybe that would be a nice idea actually. Um, I guess it's got that uh, slight element of scarcity mentality. Uh, certainly Silent Mouse if it's okay. Um, Moonfire, uh, can you... You can run alts through old rays just to get the long boy as well without crafting uh, or gathering. Although crafting and gathering is usually faster of course, whatever you like though. Exactly as Moonf uh, Moonfire says, do what is fun for you and what works for you. Um, when we go through... Um, and look at the Wellhead blog, there's a few tips from people who have uh, gone that method. Uh, let me just have a look and check, see if it has gone live. Maybe in a moment it will. I haven't seen it yet, but I'll keep an eye on that. If you do spot it going live on Wellhead, do let me know and I'll post a link to it. Uh, Technara, good evening to you. I'm doing very well, thank you very much. How about yourself? Lovely to have you all here. Um, you're betting on a mailbox mount, a bank mount, or a mount with uh, constant rested, so you can instantly log out and change talents and so on for the next expansion. Any of those um, would be pretty good. Oh, no worries, Silent Mouse. I said, of course, um, if it's if it's an okay link, go ahead. Let's go have a look for the moment, and let's have a look at our mailbox whilst we're waiting for the, uh, the Wellhead blog to go live. We might as well carry on. Um, uh, Shadowlands uh, not to pull in, in potentially until end of. Let's have a quick look at this one. Uh, in, oh, was it in Preach's last video? Was it? Um, most expensive I haven't built yet. Um, yeah, so obviously uh, Preach knows a lot about the sort of like the the kind of like. Um, He's quite sort of uh, well connected with those at Blizzard. I'm not saying he has insider information or anything like that, but he's certainly he's he can um, he I, I certainly look up to a lot of uh, what Preach says and uh, respect his opinion because he knows a lot about the game that I don't know about. Um, so if I have to look at his actual video to see uh, what he talks about, but um, I can imagine that there's a. There's a, a sound reasoning behind it, certainly. Um, Benetic, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Um, auction House Mount, uh, Nightborn and Guild Bank Ability. Um, and you already have everything you need. That is um, that is true, Snackham, but um, but then you're re restricted to the um, the Nightborn, of course. Oh, did it, uh, Moonfire? Oh, fantastic, thank you for the uh, heads up. Let's go have a look. And we'll pop in there in a moment and I'll post a link to it. Let me just sort my commands out. So we've got this, and I'll copy that, and then that's my commands. Change this one over. 
paste that, submit, and then bring my windows back, and that one, that one, there we go. Okay, so, wowhead, let's go have a look. Lurking while cooking, no problems, Darkwing, good to have you here, even whilst lurking. I hope you're cooking something nice. Uh, that should link us to the uh, this week's Wowhead guide. So we'll go through and we'll talk about that first and foremost, and then we'll go through um, Samadan's gold making and things like that. Let's go over first. Let's just go to the inn so we get some nice um, inn music whilst we're here. There we go. And then we'll head on over to the Wowhead blog for this week. So it's quite an interesting week this week. I really enjoyed uh, writing it this week and uh, gleaning everything from the wonderful community that we have here. Right, uh, Hexybank's been on 1.1k uh, all week. That's very nice. Uh, you're up to 2.2 million gold. Oh, almost halfway, uh, Drizzing Rose. That's really fantastic for your second long boy. Um, so let's go through um, 119th edition of the Wellhead um, Economy blog. The, this is the 20th since I've uh, taken it over from the lovely gumdrops. Um, Shaggy Boo, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're having a lovely evening so far. We'll just go through the uh, the Wellhead blog uh, first and foremost. Uh, it's full of lots and lots of really uh, interesting gold tips uh, this week. So if you are uh, just starting your journey, or if you're just looking to expand what you already know, then there's lots of uh, different bits of information here that hopefully will be useful to you in some shape or form. Uh, can't wait to be able to spend gold on yourself again now, I can imagine. Uh, lots of Hearthstone, uh, not Hearthstone, um, what's the other game uh, you play? Um, Heroes of the Storm things. Um, you're about to reach your first million uh, once these sales come through. Uh, fantastic Solari, uh, that first million is a, a fantastic uh, milestone because that just shows you how much is um, doable and that first million is always the hardest million to get. After that it, it does come easier, certainly. I remember distinctly the time I got over a million gold. So the first thing uh, on the list is Modest Millions has come up with a, um, a really nice uh, weekly grind list of the things um, that they go through. Um, there's a, the link to the actual post here. Um, and then the main things that they go through is basically either um, sort of farms, flips and shuffles and various things. So dredged leather, um, corrupted veil fishing, um, Uldum corrupted zone fishing. Uh, Farming for rubbery flanks, uh, doing a freehold farm. This is something I've only recently sort of uh, heard about myself. Is uh, actually just running three freehold as a um, high-powered character. It's um, fairly soloable at the moment, but you can get some solid uh, raw gold from that. Uh, Boe flipping is another really good one. So um, it is, as um, Modest Million says here, it's slightly more risky um, if you don't have experience of what to look out for. But if you do know what is um, best in slot for various uh, characters, if you follow the forums and things like that, then you can certainly find value in some items and uh, push them up for a higher amount. Um, have about eight more uh, vendor mounts to purchase, then you can go back into save mode. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what I'll... Uh, well, I'm going to go for the, the spider mount next, I think. Um, oh, it just farms 300 marks of honor, and now you can watch this. Oh, excellent, Sulker. Um, are you going for a specific amount of marks of honor, or are you going to go for more? Uh, speaking of rubbery flank, um, it was like a, um, 10 gold on Twisted Nether. Is that? I can't remember the actual uh, base price for um, rubbery flank. I think it should be more than that. Uh, you found around 340 uh, veil crystals today uh, for 80 gold apiece. That's a nice uh, price, definitely. You're done, you think? <laughs> I think that's that's fair enough. Um, uh, sales for you are off uh, less than normal. I think it's due to so many people um, off and out of work. Are my sales are any good or about the same? I would say mine are probably more so because I am one of those people who can at least have WoW on the second side and um, at least either make braces or I can uh, relist and cancel things. So I'm finding I've made more gold of late. Uh, Triple Gnome, thank you very much for coming in with your uh, brand new sub, Tier 1. Thank you very, very much indeed. Welcome to the squad, and 
here are a whole load of uh, Samadan emotes to use as you will. Thank you very much. They're like 40 for you, Rose. Okay, I did think they should be about 40 or something like that one. Uh, I'm going to do some grinding now on your old uh, Herb Miner character. Uh, see how much mats you can get to sell. And that's a good idea, Trash Panda. Um, it's the uh, a generalized herb and mining farm can uh, get you a decent amount, as Kuhn will attest to. <laughs> Dark Queen coming in. How's the cooking going, Dark Queen? Um, uh, main source uh, cooking material, it sells a lot. Yes, it should do, really. Um, it's it's still used. I, I, we've got. Is it used in the new um, 8.3 recipe still? I can't remember, or is it used in the feast? Um, I forgot the Oreo point change again. Um, I, I've i been thinking about that one, Darkwing. It's it's quite tricky now that I'm here, upstairs, and Oreo doesn't, sadly, uh, doesn't s sit next to me. So it's a difficult, uh, as it'll be a difficult reward to redeem, because Oreo is currently downstairs in a cardboard box, sleeping away. Um, if I was downstairs, then he'll be next to me, certainly. Uh, casual 13 Golden Twist, another uh, worse server. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure there's probably a a niche to be had. Um, I heard you say something. <laughs> um, uh, I'm sure there's a niche to be had on um, on all on all servers. I'm sure. Uh, show a picture of Oreo or. Uh, now that uh, uh, show picture of Oreo uh, to know that uh, until I'm downstairs, yeah, I guess I could collect up pictures of Oreo. That could work. Um, I, I can see how that would work. Uh, Make it. You bought your Bruto, um, so there's um, so there, so there is some riches. There is some niches. Oh, okay. Uh, so you managed to do it um, on Twisted Nether. So there you go, Make it. So there are there are certainly niches. You haven't seen uh, Oreo yet, you're new. Oh, um, Alex Hailstone, uh, uh, I wish I could show him to you. He is um, hes the most adorable uh, cat. He's recently turned six years old. We call him Fluffmorn. Uh, what if I could find a picture? Let me just bring this over. Uh, not there, that's pictures. I want to find, that's bright. Um, Let's find one of Oreo. I've got one of Cookie there. Oreo. Oreo is a young kitten, is that one. Then Oreo, the six year old Oreo, is that one. There we go. A big a big ball of fluff is what Oreo is. So he's gone from cute little boy to uh to incredibly handsome uh, Fluffmorn. <laughs> Missing the best of the streams. He normally, when I'm sat on the floor downstairs, he'll lay next to me and he'll claw at my knee until I uh, give him enough strokes. He is he is definitely adorable. Um, uh, is the uh, Freehold Farm on Mythic Zero difficulty? I don't know actually, I think it might be, I guess wh whatever difficulty you can manage with your character, um, whether that is Mythic Zero or whether it's um, whether it's at normal. Um, for me, it would certainly be normal if at all. Uh, showing his baby photos. He's not too embarrassed. <laughs> True. Um, uh, it is on uh, normal difficulty, is it? Um, okay, I would expect so. Um, so yeah, these are some really good um, tips and things. Uh, BOE flipping, we're talking about sniper runs. Um, I must say, I don't do a lot of sniper running myself at the moment, but um, there are still bargains to be had if you leave sniper running, and you might be able to find something there, certainly. So you can reset it 10 times an hour. Okay, there's there's that as well, isn't there? It's just like any other dungeon farm, like the Ward uh, and Legion uh, raw gold dungeons. Those are all going to be useful. Sky Reach has been a great one. For a long time, I'd like to try that myself one day soon, actually. And then the Tide Spray Vendor Shuffle, which is um, getting um, Tide Spray linen uh, be below like one gold. I think it's one gold eighty or one gold ninety, um, and then you can make the Tide Spray linen pants and vendor those. 
and that makes it very easy as well. And there's a video to go along with this about um, how to make uh, 5 million gold using uh, several of these techniques. So that's our first series of uh, tips for the evening. Um, hey that one bro guy, how are you? Um, have I dabbled any more with Classic lately? No I haven't. Sadly I had to make the decision that I haven't done any Classic in such a long time that um, I really need to focus on retail. I, Even with the extra time I have now, um, I'm still not getting enough done in retail that I would like to do. I'm still working on uh, multiple uh, characters and multiple professions as well as progressing my existing characters. I mean, we've started doing some things like Mythics um, on Samadan, getting him up to a decent level, which will really help him when he starts coming into uh, Shadowlands as well. Um, um, can if you want with your pally. Um, in, in terms of doing uh, Freehold. Um, da -da -da, did I miss anything else? You got two tunes, uh, level 112, uh, need to be 120 um, as soon as possible. That would definitely be useful if you can make use of the XP boost um, until the moment, certainly. Uh, we can get some good roots for uh, autumn and herbs in BFA. Have you tried the Worth It add-on, um, Trash Panda? The uh, the one by Dalla GG, um, not, not Deadly bo Boss Mobs, uh, not Akili. Where is it? I had it here a minute ago. That's up here, worth it. Because you can import um, roots from here. Um, if you go onto uh, Dalla GG's uh, Discord, you can probably find some uh, decent roots to um, import there. That might work. Right, let's go back to the Wowhead blog. There we go. Um, Fastest way of party sync with someone on level uh, 90 to 100 and do uh, drain us bonus objectives. Oh, to get um, up to 120. Uh, that's interesting. As long as you've got someone to do it with you, certainly. Yeah, it's 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 worth. It's a really good add-on. Um, it's worth it going to have a look at worth it. Certainly, we covered it in a couple of um, a couple of uh, Wowhead blogs ago. Uh, good evening, Mushy. How are you? Um, What's on the sweater? Uh, on my t-shirt today we have, uh, this is one of the new ones from QWERTY that I got, which is a Laputa Castle in the Sky uh, t-shirt, which is really nice. I can't quite show it when I'm down here. But I hope you had a lovely weekend, uh, Mushy. Hope all is well with you. So our next thing on the agenda here, big screen. I could do big screen, but it's, uh, it doesn't show a great deal. Hold on, let me just show over me full screen. There we go. And then if I stand up a little bit, you can see it a little bit more there. So it's Laputa, the the robot there, and then the flying machines and stuff they have. One of one of my favourite uh, Ghibli ones. There we go. But yeah, if you do like um, QWERTY t-shirts, I highly recommend them. And I have an affiliate link, if I can remember the link to it. T-shirts? There we go. I have an affiliate link there, so that if um, anyone new signs up to QWERTY, um, I get a free one whenever I order one. Uh, so that's always useful. If you would like to support me in different ways and get yourself some nice t-shirts, highly recommend QWERTY. Um, uh, Elise, and good evening to you. And who else did I, did I miss anyone else in there? No, I think we're all at them. And uh, uh, Trivial Gnome, I've uh, got some fresh 120s with the daily anchor transmute on. Is there any other good methods to make daily gold um, without a rep grind? grind? Um, I mean, in terms of daily gold, um, daily cooldowns, the only thing I can really think of immediately is the the garrisons and the hex weaves, um, it's still valid now. Um, so if you do have that set up, um, it is definitely worth its while. Um, but I think the transmute herbs to anchors is, is the best one at the moment. Uh, oh, of course, <laughs> Rose can tell you all about uh, doing the cards. That's that's a definite big one there. Good evening, Natty. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're having a lovely evening so far. Right. Let me carry on with the uh, the Wildhead blog for a moment. 
So the second um, thing we were talking about um, was the Tale of Two Long Boys, which is a really heartwarming tale from uh, Godlike65 on Reddit, who uh, talked about how um, they and their girlfriend um, were able to go through and learn lots of different gold making methods in order to get a long boy for each of them. Um, so it's really worth uh, having a read of the story. It's uh, lovely to see how they progressed and the decisions they made along the way. And then they finished off the post with a whole load of tips, which I thought would be great to share here, along with all the other tips. Uh, talking about alchemy, obviously still being profitable. We can see uh, that on uh, Joe Awakening. Obviously all servers may vary, so um, but getting the Silas Brock for that and um, having alchemy, it's certainly working for me on Joe Awakening, um, and I'm sure other people are uh, finding it useful still. Um, and then the second tip is... If you're not willing to fully set up TSM or um, babysit your auctions, uh, having a second uh, bankroll is um, definitely the way to go there. If you want to just have something ticking away whilst you're playing, um, that's definitely worth doing. Um, your professions are the most valuable tools here. I would totally agree with this in the sense that I find personally the profession side of things the most enjoyable. Uh, you're having tongue, are you, uh, Darkwin? Taste is good. Fantastic. Oh, you burnt your tongue. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> but now I'm with you. Um, if you... Oh, I missed it from earlier. There we go. Let me just catch up on all of chat, rather than just reading the bottom bit. Uh, free uh, cooking tip. If you taste something straight from the pan, blow first. <laughs> you burnt your tongue. Oh, dear. <laughs> but it tastes good. Um, uh, uh, Chinese egg foam. Oh, fantastic. Does sound nice. I had sausage and mash tonight. It was really, really tasty. And uh, what else do we have? If you like farming, by all the means do it. Which goes along with the things that I've always said is make sure you do what you enjoy. First and foremost when it comes to gold making. So if you enjoy farming, by all means go, uh, go and farm. Um, and as suggested here, if you do like uh, multi-boxing, then multi-box farm farming is still an option as well. Um, there's so many different ways you can do this. Um, you can do it solo or you can do it multi box um, eventually someone will come and undercut you by huge margins, which we've all heard and experienced that one certainly. Up to you how you deal with it, whether you um, whether you wait um, or you um, try it at different times um, or you post on top. There's lots of different things you can, uh, there's lots of different reasons why someone else will post at their prices. So it's always um, trying worth trying to bear that in mind um, and then deciding what you're going to do with it. And then once you're active, build a good favorite list of the mats you need uh, to maintain your operations. Um, so basically just having a list of stuff that you uh, always look out for. For me, I have shopping operations for um, all my herbs and all my tide spray and things like that, mainly. Speaking of cooking, you've been opening your cards on your main while vacuuming uh, the ionized minnow and you made a ton of gold from the Big Mech the past few weeks. A uh, nice thing to do since the uh, spell to set up has a 12 second cooldown. That's a good point actually. So you do have to wait a little while before the next the next one. I mean, you can move to the next pool in that time. But um, yeah, there are, there are lots of different um, things you could be doing with your time. And if you can flip to another character um, on another account whilst you're doing that, then that really is a nice way of uh, optimizing it. Thorin was insanely cheap on your serve and you bought about 1500 and reposted. That's a nice uh, little flip, uh, Kanyast. Hopefully you'll get some good sales from that. How's the uh, the posting price on uh, Thorium? I hope it's not too bad. Uh, Scobble, good evening to you. In one of my streams I had a, a task list to-do list uh, uh, clip. Do you have any guides on how to set those up? Um, on, the, uh, on TSM, when you go into crafting something, let me just move over somewhere here. So when I were to, if I go into say cooking here, go into TSM and I've got a list of things here to make that's obviously enchanting not cooking but it still uh, is the same thing so basically once you go to the gathering side and there's things I need to do uh, you click on open task list here and then that will bring up in the task list and that will show me everything I need to either buy or gather up and I've also got my expirations and cooldowns um, as part of the list as well and I think you can also just type in slash task list and that will appear as well or disappear. Let's try it. Slash task list. 
no, uh, slash TSM task list. There we go, slash TSM task list. And then if I do that again, slash TSM task list, then it brings it up again. There we go. Hopefully that's useful. Um, and you can move while opening cards as well. That's also useful. Um, old mites are, uh, are good for uh, the posting costs. Oh, that's good, Kanyas. Um, I know some of them were um, crazily expensive at one point. Mythical boosting ensures how it expects to have a bag open and flips cards while fighting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Fees, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping, stopping by. We're just going through the uh, Wowhead blog at the moment. So I've gone through the first two main pop, uh, topics. Uh, the next list of tips comes from um, Kraken Latte, who has a, a quick uh, certain lazy uh, gold tips here. Um, really sort of a nice short to the point of video here. Going through basically saying simple things like make sure you loot everything, um, make sure you have gathering professions on your alts so that when you're leveling them up you can gather and the tip here is to gather everything. Um, disenchant BOEs uh, less than a certain amount and then auction all the loot, so basically just sell sell stuff and try and sell it as much you as much as you like. Her content is absolutely fantastic uh, Natty, it's lovely to see her getting some really good exposure so I'm happy to um, share her videos. Uh, you bought like uh, 5k uh, nether cloth yesterday. Oh, that's going to be. Uh, are you going to make that into uh, nether weave bags? Uh, Thomas, good evening to you. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and then the, the other um, tips here was don't vend a lot of boxes, which obviously, if you can get yourself a rogue, that's definitely worth uh, doing. Um, and then tracking fish and herbs, because uh, you don't always um, automatically think of that, but um, you can unlock the uh, tracking of fish and herbs, and she goes through it on the uh, on the video itself as to how to unlock that. So it goes into more detail on the video. Um, there was one thing that I noted on here, which is talking about disenchanting BOEs less than a certain amount and auctioning all the loot, which reminded me of the TSM tip of using uh, filters if you're, if you're doing something like a transmog run and you've got a group of items that you want to then sell on the auction house, you can use in the, um, when you're making a group, you can use something like slash a thousand gold slash 10,000 gold to just filter what's in your bags to just um, things with a DB market value within that price range. So that if you just wanted to sell uh, those items, you could put those all into a group and then uh, post them on the auction house and then the things that are left in your bags could be the things that aren't worth that much and then you can go and sell those. So it's a really handy way of just filtering out what you've got and then organizing it into groups for selling uh, for Transmod. So uh, not, not everyone knows that, um, that feature of TSM that you can filter things. Uh, you can do it by lots of different things as well and this is also useful for uh, shopping scans as well. Uh, just started after over a year away from WoW and gold making, so I was wondering um, how should um, a restart? How should you restart the gold making again? Uh, I've been, I've seen every guide I've made, but uh, you got three hundred thousand to start with, and three level one twenties. That's a very nice start uh, fees. I would say um, pick some professions you love and go from there. Um, with three one twenties, you should be able to cover things like maybe enchanting, tailoring leatherworking and alchemy and then another two of your choice maybe inscription and uh, blacksmithing maybe something like that or maybe some gathering professions if you enjoy gathering items um, so there's lots of different things uh, you could possibly do there um, but that's only if you enjoy professions if you enjoy doing something differently then I'd say do that uh, instead but you are in a good position obviously it will take a fair amount of work as you're returning to level up those um, characters in terms of professions and in terms of getting their reputation um, high enough. But it's well worth the investment, certainly. Depends how much time you have as well. No, it's, it's, a, not, it's not a very well known tip, that one, Natty. Uh, Nikos England, thank you very much for the um, follow. And Will Webster, good evening to you. I hope you're having a lovely evening so far. Um, you for rent on uh, Taramil, your craft and scrap. <laughs> Horde side, of course. 
And then the next thing we had on the uh, the blog was uh, something that I'm. If any of you have seen my Myro boards, uh, anything that's got a flowchart on it, I'm a sucker for. So uh, seeing this one posted was uh, a really nice, um, a really nice thing to see. Just um, organ because I'm quite a visual learner, so this was right up my uh, street. Seeing this about all the different um, things they did, uh, buying, selling on the auction or auction house farming and how it tied in with each of the professions. If you can't read anything um, in the detail in the smaller sections here on the blog, just click on the image and it will take you to a high-res version that's on Google Drive. Um, but I thought that was fascinating to look at. Um, Kayun, thank you very much, six months. And Alex Hailstone with a cheer as well. Came for the tips and never disappointed. Well, it's lovely to have you both here. Thank you for the cheer and thank you for the um, six months of supping, uh, Kayun. Let's see, have a load of emotes for you both. Thank you indeed. Incredibly kind of you. Thank you very much. And Mr. Se, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely chart. You just go through it. You can't quite read um, things like shimmer scale arm guards, coarse leather arm guards here dredged leather um, but what I, I thought is particularly fascinating about this is it shows how all the different professions tie into each other and one thing can lead into another and they're all interconnected in some form um, uh, Waller MD, thank you very much for the follow as well um, Bear Tartar is a great seller and still and uh, low cost mats it's it's not sold for me in a while. I'm not sure if I've still got a operation uh, selling it, but um, I, I know it did have its time, certainly. Um, I'd like to try the the new um, 8.3 food. I only recently got the recipes for all of that um, as I was going through the the cloak quests on, on Samadan, so it would be uh, nice to have a look at those. Speaking of those, in fact, um, Lazy Goldmaker has posted a great article on the 8.3 um, food, going through what's new and uh, what's selling quite well and what each of the new recipes does. The full article is here, which goes through and also has um, some TSM settings that Lazy Goldmaker uses. So I would highly recommend if you are interested in the um, in the new cooking, is to uh, check out the post and have a look at that, because um, some really good information and. Um, TSM strings uh, to import them. Uh, sells better on a high on full pop server. The effect is nerfed so hard it's not used that much. It is a shame that it isn't um, isn't used as often now. I did notice this one though on the baked void fin. It has a 20% movement speed buff. Um, is that something that um, is region wide or is that just within horrific visions? Uh, grilled Nasher um, is very underrated in your opinion. Yeah, I mean, uh, reduced aggro range, I can see how that will be used to skip certain content, certainly. Uh, three weeks ago you bought uh, 15,000 deep sea cloth for two gold. Uh, this week you sold 10,000 of it for five gold. That's very nice. Ah, um, oh, the real genie, how are you? Sorry we're late. Oh, I missed that. Um, uh, have a call and wake you up. Tell me you're on. <laughs> Oh, and that you were late for the raid. <laughs> well, that's a wonderful girlfriend you got there uh, reminding you. Um, welcome aboard. I hope you're doing well. And congratulations on your long boy as well. Uh, let's see, a load of uh, long boys for the real gin. Having another uh, long boy owner. Congratulations to you. I saw on the Discord that you said you had it. Um, what else do we have? Oh, Grilled Nasha. Um, that was the flip. Um, it's just in um, Horrific Visions, Mecca. Okay, as I thought it would be, certainly. Uh, Bullsy, good evening to you. And uh, Krozak, uh, good evening to you as well. Yeah, the 8.3 work, uh, food only works in Visions. Okay, so I can see how these would be um, would be useful. Certainly the kebabs with the um, Restore 100 Sanity, I uh, would see that being used. And the movement speed and the reduced aggro range will help you get to where you want, certainly. So that should be uh, definitely useful. Um, no problem, uh, uh, Real Jenny. If I could uh, be of any assistance, I'm more than happy to share it. Uh, Bear Tata is still useful for farmers uh, doing transmog runs. Uh, it should sell well on uh, some servers. Yeah, I, I guess it depends on the server, doesn't it? It has been, um, like you said, it was uh, sporadic on Shadowsong. Sometimes I get some sales of it, sometimes uh, not for a long time. 
I don't think I've sold any in a while actually. Let's have a look. Um, do I even have any on me? Let's have a look. Uh, crafting. Search for bear tartar. And my. I do have 49 on the auction house. I last sold some 48 days ago. Um, so it's been a, a long time since I've sold some. Average sale rate, uh, average sale amount is 16 gold um, with a 2 gold crafting cost. So that's pretty reasonable. Uh, it's just getting the, uh, the right amount of quantity on that. So that pretty much wraps up the uh, Wowhead blog uh, this week. I hope um, that there were some useful tips in there um, for both um, new and um, old gold makers alike. Um, I tried to compile as many as possible that I found uh, this week and add in a few of my own as well. So I hope that was useful to you. Um, if you want to uh, follow it up, uh, the link is here. And um, if you do have any uh, suggestions or things you would like in future Wowhead articles, please do say so in the comments um, or reach out to me um, by the uh, normal methods. Um, it'll be removed before you think. Um, are you waiting on a, a red flower to bow you a, a long neck? <laughs> So um, that's, that's the, uh, the wowhead uh, section done, I hope that was useful. Let's go through and do uh, the mailbox opening for the week on Samadan. It's going to be some big ones this week, um, as we've been, if you've been following my streams on Tuesday and um, Thursday, um, I've had a sneaky peek at the, uh, the mailboxes as they've gone through, so I think, I think a lot of stuff should have expired though, so I might have to relist everything on in a moment. Um, can I show my um, my crafting operations for Uncanny Crafting? Certainly. Uh, so Uncanny Crafting. Let me clear this queue. Don't need that on. If I go, I actually go to my groups here under TSM, groups, tailoring, Uncanny Crafting. So the group operations for the Uncanny Crafting. I have ignore item variations on all of these ones. It won't be quite quite a million plus. Certainly. It's not that high, but uh, it's reasonable for me, certainly. Um, operations, no, groups. Let me just go back. Uh, uncanny crafting, group operations. There we go. So my crafting operation is five of each for the uncanny gear. And I have a minimum profit set to be either the minimum, either 20% crafting or 400 gold. This is fairly trivial amounts anyway. So that's 20% crafting profit, because um, it already takes into account the profit there. Restock quantity is five, and 400 gold is just an extra option that I've always kind of like had in there um, since I started doing enchants and things. Depends if we manage to scam any any more of those bags. <laughs> Absolutely will. Well, I've not heard back from the um, from the person who bought the uh, the bag, so I'm going to take that as um, as read that they. Uh, they don't want the, the gold returned to them, so I will reluctantly accept their 200,000 gold for one bag. It's my own fault for putting it on at that price. Well, not quite 200,000 gold, because after you take the auction house fee off, it was 189,000 gold. So in terms of where we're at, we're currently at 940,000 gold. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if it was it in this um, mailbox. I don't think it was, was it? Um, let's have a look at what we do have. We have some expires here we need to deal with first. So let's deal with a few of those. Was that useful, uh, Silent Mouse? Hopefully. Uh, looks like we're, ah, we're fairly full because we've been doing some bracer shuffles. Okay, so we need to deal with those first. I do have a few more I need to sort out there. So let's... Uh, now, this is saying item group um, is invalid C chat. This will be because uh, WoW just had an update and TSM has forgotten the vendor prices of things. So what we need to do is just visit the vendor again. So that will be enough. Literally have a look at that. And then next time when we post that on, we won't have that um, number invalid again. So we can post those on. And we just sold some Umbra Shards. For 60 gold, that's not too bad. What's the actual price of Umbra Shards at the moment? 
I mean, my crafting cost is coming out at 24, so 65 is the market price. 60 gold is okay. Um, is there any vendor you can visit for it? Uh, yes, pretty much. Um, it doesn't really matter which one. Uh, Adrios, thank you very much. 16 months. That's amazing. Thank you very much for your continued support. And there's Oreo rolling over on his back. He's here in spirit, if nothing else. Let's have lots of Oreos in there. Thank you, uh, Adios, for your support. It's super duper appreciated. Um, I'm just going to deal with these um, things in my bag first. I'm going to scrap all of these. Um, I'm going to disenchant the blues as well. I'm scrapping them on my tailor because I'm going to use my enchanter to make the wands and use up some of those umbra shards. So let's just, excuse me, just clear that first. I've got 173 expulsum at the moment. Um, and I, I scrapped um, about 1,400 braces. No, I made about 1,400 braces, and I just need to finish off the, the last of the scrapping of it. Um, it's on the last uh, setting page. Is that for um, the Are You Sure? Um, you have TSM prompt you for over 10k potion, uh, purchases. Yes, it's on the TSM settings. Um, if we go onto here, onto TSM, under settings, um, and it's in, I think it's accounting, no. Auctioning, no. It's one of these. Shopping, there we go, shopping sniper. Uh, buy out confirmation alert. Um, you can tick this on, show alert if it's above the alert price. So in this case, um, the minimum of either 10,000 gold or 200% of DB market. That one should work. A wild Torg appears. <laughs> Keep your Pokeballs safe. <laughs> how, how are you, uh, Torgman? Thanks for stopping by. And the Gold Queen, how are you? That's a whole year. Thank you very much. How are you finding lockdown? Lovely to have you here. Um, thank you also for your support that is really appreciated so thank you very much i hope you're doing well let's carry on with the uh, scrapping whilst we're here um and sort out that one <laughs> straight in with the fantastic emotes hold on let me just uh sort this out let get this uh bag lock cleared so we can then post on our auctions so that we can then um actually have a look at our gold for this uh for this week um, uh, speaking of lockdown, you're still working. Are you, um, Trash Panda? I'm working from home at the moment, and I must say I'm not missing the uh, three hours of commuting I do a day. So that has really given me a, a, a new lease of life when it comes to having the energy to stream and spend more time with my family. So for that, I am thankful at least, if nothing else. Um... Uh, Sidwa, how are you? Um, do I have some uh, issues with TSM not being updated with prices? Um, do you mean the vendor ones um, or the prices invalid? Um, we literally just had that since WoW had an update. Uh, you literally just need to visit a vendor and TSM will re uh, reevaluate the prices, if that's the ones you mean. Um, can I just import my groups and it all uh, works uh, like yours? Um, thereabouts, um, Dibby Twitch, um, I would certainly put them into a profile of your own and have a look. I would always recommend, uh, first case when you're learning TSM is to, uh, build it up yourself and try and learn, but you're more than welcome to take mine from my, um, from my paste bins. If you don't have the link already, it's there, um, if you do need it. Um, what else have we got? Um... Uh, have I been asked to uh, take a pay cut yet? Yes, I have, unfortunately. Um, uh, some of our staff were uh, furloughed, as the uh, the new term is, and yet um, others have been asked to take a, um, a pay cut, of which I was one of them. So times are tough for everyone, certainly. Uh, what if uh, working from home might become more commonplace after this? It's better for the environment and people's mental health, for sure. I would certainly recommend it. Um, I've been loving working from home. If I could do it... Um, if I could do it more myself, then I certainly would. And what will I do with the expulsum? So at the moment, um, 
Normally I would send all this over to my leather worker and make braces that way, but because I have such a huge amount of Umbra shards, we have like over 3,000 on Samadan and another 3.4,000 on the Guild Vault. So um, I'm going to make um, on enchanting, if we go over here, if I just go to the standard interface, I'm going to make some honorable combatant source receptors because they only take starwood, one expulsum, and six umbra shards. So it's a good way of me using up my excess umbra shards and then turning them into veiled crystals because if I disenchant these, they'll give me a veiled crystal and an umbra shard. So it does kind of work out um, slightly better. Ah, oh, thank you, Cold Queen. Um, uh, Commander Bond, good evening to you. Oh, you can't bring the aircraft home. That's unfortunate. Um, we have to go some, some sort of virtual flight sim or something for that, um, Trash Panda. That must be difficult. Um, um, it did, uh, didn't accept it. Uh, the quest giver never provides you with the quest. Uh, wrote a ticket, but Blizzard don't care. What was that for, uh, Squabble? Did I miss something earlier? Uh, just scrolling up. Uh, and not provided with the enchanting quest. You have uh, enchanting at 175. Anyone knows why? It should happen when you're at uh, 150. Have you, you are level 120 is the other thing I would think of. Um, what else did I miss? Let me just scroll back down. Um, uh, the quest we never gave you the quest. Yeah, so we got that one, there you go. Commander Bond, sorry, just catching up on uh, chat here. Sorry if I do miss anyone here. There's a lot of chat coming through. Uh, it doesn't work for you. Uh, two little kids are making it almost impossible. Thankfully, my children are now teenagers, so uh, it's slightly easier for the moment. You're working from home. You craft hex for you each day, um, and the other cooldowns. Yeah, it can it can certainly be useful, can't it? Although there's loads of stuff uh, I missed on here. Uh, easy way uh, to go gathering. Uh, very boring, but uh, massive money. This is true, um, especially with lots of people um, around. Uh, Torellian also 16 months. Happy 16. Thank you very much for your continued support. Um, thank you very much indeed. Let's see, lots of emotes for you. Thank you for being here. Uh, love my videos and my streams. Well, very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you for being here uh, as well. Uh, let me just disenchant these whilst I chat up on everything else. Um, and good evening to you, Torellian. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Uh, you never made a drum in your life. Um, for the uh, the drums of uh, fury, is that? Uh, take your temperature. You may have to do a fourteen day self isolation, not just uh, social. Distance. Did I miss some on the chat here? Hold on, let me just scroll up. Uh, worries um, have come your way. You can feel uh, fever creeping up on you. Felt a bit weak this morning, but it's gotten worse over the day. Oh, sorry to hear that, uh, dude. I'm all nights. As um, uh, Will said, uh, do take your temperature and just keep an eye on yourself. Hopefully, you're going to be okay. Um, gathering what um, you are new to WoW, sorry, no problem, uh, Mr. Essie. Um, so I would suggest um, if you've got access to uh, Najita, um to go around there and farm the Zinanthid, the herb, and the Osmanite ore is always a good one there because the Zinanthid is um, very much in demand at the moment, depending on your server. You could also go around the, uh, the regular zones and try and get yourself some anchor weed. Um, if you follow uh, Kuhn at all, Kuhn did his uh, Brutusaur challenge and pretty much just doing um, just doing um, herbs and ore. Um, if I do a shout out to Kuhn, you can follow him. Um, he's doing lots of things on all the things at the moment and doing lots and lots of comp stomps at the moment. Uh, so uh, if you are looking at sort of like farming methods and things like that, he can offer you uh, lots of advice there. Uh, let me just go and check that I haven't got anything else to open in the mailbox and we'll carry on from there. Uh, so let's open up the rest of that lot. Um, uh, lack of physio and acupuncture is starting to take its toll after two to four weeks. Whoops, I miss... Uh, um, now headaches uh, from muscle tension. All right. Oh, sorry to hear that, Darkwing. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, Multiboxes are picking every zone clean and crashing prices. It can depend on your server. Um, they aren't necessarily um, crashing prices though. It all depends on the, um, 
it's not normally in a multi-boxer's best interest to, to do that. Um, so it may just be um, people with a large amount of stock that are indiscriminate with their prices. Then over um, uh, V-safe, this is uh, sometimes asymptomatic. Was that in relation to the uh, the fevers and stuff? Hopefully, it will all be good. Um, he's done. Uh, is that uh, Kuhn or um, he was on like two hundred and fifty last time you looked? Wow. <laughs> okay, there's lots coming through here on chat. So if I do miss you, um, I do apologise. Um, you made uh, twelve Kate today with Stomp Smashy. Oh, that's interesting. I never think about the gold uh, proportion of it for that one. Um, but it is, yeah, as Kanye says, a great way to farm honor and marks, uh, farm the marks and get the honor as well if you need that. Uh, Zakiovich, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're doing well on this fine evening. Um, the amount of people uh, that haven't figured out that uh, undercutting is pointless nowadays is frustrating. Everyone will post on for their own reasons. It could be someone that uh, just wants to uh, generate a fast sale. Um, it could be someone that uh, doesn't have any clue on the prices. Um, it could be someone who's got their TSM string set incorrectly. Um, it could always be for different reasons. So uh, I think in general, people have cottoned onto the idea that matching the source price is generally a good idea. So uh, hopefully over time that will filter uh, through more and more. You did 61 stomp smashy, wow. Is that as many as you needed? Uh, 250 gold per comp stomp, uh, one. Oh, okay. Thank you, Neville. And good evening to you as well. Um, oh, you need to import, uh, for example, BFA cooking, and then uh, afterwards BFA cooking 8.3, or just just 8.3, um, Divi Twitch. You don't need to get the 8.2 ones. It's just all the, those are all just the latest ones of mine. I just happen to keep everything um, because I'm a hoarder, obviously. Imbued silk weave bag going on for 15,000 there. That's a reasonable price. Um, uh, pretty much yourself isolating these days uh, as you live with your folks or elderly that's absolutely uh, reasonable uh, Will if you post something that's normally 12k and no one uh, no items up you just type 999 and post it because it's faster for you exactly there could be lots and lots of different reasons certainly um, have I updated my pace bins um, without the multiple stack operations at the moment? It's semi-done, Trash Panda. Some of my cooking operations still have the, the multiple ones, uh, simply because I haven't gotten around to updating them myself. Um, but they, TSM still operates with them, so I wouldn't be too concerned with them. It's not, um, it's not too bad. It doesn't break, um, it doesn't break um, TSM by having them there. Right, I'm going to keep on opening and posting for the moment until we've got all of our gold. We've got 275 in the mail yet, so there may be some more tie spray in here at the bottom. Um, uh, Fader Kine, how are you? Good evening to you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you're more than welcome, uh, Divi Twitch. I hope that works out for you. Um, so selfish that uh, while watching you uh, help people to make gold, you just sit on the lamp uh, behind me and avoid people. <laughs> Poor people use your brooter. <laughs> That's fair enough, Medcat. Right, so we're almost, now we have got a little bit more coming in. I can hear the tide spray coming in in the background. Yep, here comes some more tide spray. So let's post on our items first. We've got a lot of uh, restocking to do on Samadan here tonight. So uh, the gold making routine will be in full force tonight. Shadow Weave Mask has gone down really cheap at the moment. Uh, I don't mind because that's still, I mean 266 is my minimum. 500 is what they're going for at the moment. Uh, gone are the days when I could get them for uh, 4,000 or more. But uh, I'm just happy to let that run for the moment. I haven't had a sale of those in a long time. 149 days since the Shadow Weave Mark sold. But you never know, someone looking, looking for that achievement in the future um, will pick that one up. Um, is there a way to set a formula for the auction uh, which helps identify easily the item which your price is lower uh, to the vendor sell and then you can go and sell those uh, to the vendor? Um, which of your items is lower than the vendor sell? So do you mean... Um, For the auctions, uh, oh, in, I know what you mean, okay, hold on, I'll just post this lot on, 
there should be um, an option in TSM, the vendor search in shopping, as Kanyas has said. I'll point it out to you in a moment. In the shopping tab, it will do a vendor search and it will literally do just that. It will search um, for anything that is on the auction house that is you can buy from the auction house and then vendor away. It works better on Classic, it seems, um, simply because more people seem to post things on there. But you look for here, vendor search, under the shopping tab. And you click on that and then TSM will scan all the auction house and uh, anything that's um, below vendor price, um, it will post it here. Usually, I don't really find many. Here's one. Uh, pattern murderer's gloves um, it's on here for seven gold it actually vendors for seven gold fifty so I could buy that and sell that for uh, an extra uh, 50 silver oh TSM tells you that um, do you want it in your operation um, for to not put it less than the vendor sell in which case if we go back to that if you go into your groups and uh, you're making your operation say I don't know let's say for instance um, what could I pick at Admiral's hat maybe you can put in your posting operation here under your posting operation here you could add in uh, the maximum between uh, 110 percent crafting 30 percent the average thing DB market or DB region market average or you could put in uh, something on the end here like um, say I guess you could just do vendor sell and have it uh, no less than that if I spell it correctly vendor sell or actually thinking about it should that be vendor buy because there's a vendor buy and there's a vendor sell let me just uh, look at the tooltip of the bag make sure I've got this in the correct order so something like this has a where's no I need to, something like nylon thread. So the vendor buy price on that is that. No, so I do want the vendor sell price. Um, so set minimum price. Well, I lost it there. So I put in that uh, comma vendor sell like that. And so basically, it wouldn't um, it wouldn't post it here um, if um, it was below the vendor sell. If that works for you. But I don't tend to use it a lot myself. So hopefully that was useful to you. Um, recommend for Operation Sell Herbs and or uh, just DB Market. Uh, DB Market can work. It will it'll go with um, go with your market uh, fluctuations. Uh, let me just open up all of these. I think I've got some more Tide Spray. Yeah, we've got a load more Tide Spray here. I need to clear out before we can get to all the gold. Um, you want that, but for the ice cream bag. Okay. Um, hopefully that will uh, work for you, um, Sepapeda Kai. If that wasn't quite uh, what you meant, then uh, do let us know in chat, and hopefully we can point you in the right direction. Uh, and with that, uh, you're 110 on your ninth alt. Only two left, uh, and the wool farm is a nice round. 80k a week, very nice. <laughs> you're so tempted to reset, uh, Will. It would l be lovely to have you here, certainly. Right, okay, we're almost done here. Um, is there anything to post on here? I don't see anything, so let's go and scrap this lot. And we can run through this as quickly as possible. So we've got all of this lot to scrap. I'll go through here and click on that. Uh, just opened your mail and all, and apparently you had a load of uh, benthic tokens uh, to disenchant. Oh, fantastic, that's, uh, that's lucky. Um, <laughs> it happens, Nabal, more often than you think. Um, and it can simply just uh, be down to sort of uh, making uh, simple mistakes and not realising the vendor sell price of things. Yeah, it's nice to, it's nice to have those nice, uh, those nice surprises in the mailbox, certainly, especially if it's a character you've not had for a while, especially if the, uh, the mailbox was just about to expire as well. That's also very useful. So I'm just going to go through, there shouldn't be too much of this to scrap, and then disenchant those blues. And then we'll probably make, I've got a lot of um, 
I've got a lot of enchants to uh, make, um, so I'll probably have to restock on those as well. I think there is a certain amount of um, activity process, but she can obviously answer that much better than I can. Uh, can I make a video for gold making um, just 100k per day? Uh, you just need 100k per day. Uh, you're new, really don't know uh, what I'm doing now and what I'm talking about. That's fair enough, Mr. Essie. We've got to start somewhere. Um, for me, it's mainly about professions. Um, 100k a day is... I, I would be very much uh, limited by time there. I certainly don't make 100k a day myself, so I'd be find it difficult to do um, do a video on that unless I was actually playing WoW um, for a good sort of maybe eight hours a day then maybe I could um, get myself set up for that I would probably have to if I was wanting to reach a target like that I would probably look at uh, having all professions uh, multiple characters on multiple realms um, and I would be doing a lot of um, probably flipping and things that are time effective um, to try and get that kind of target. Even with 24 hours a day, 100k is impossible on most servers. It's a, it's a, it's a tall order, certainly. That was like 10 years ago you did 10 hours a day. <laughs> when you farm for your long ball, you made between 15 and 40 a day. Uh, some extra good days, up to maybe 70. But now the market is dead and the margins are lower, you're lucky to make 15 to 20k a day. Yeah, I think that sounds that sounds like uh, reasonable numbers, uh, Torquen, certainly. Uh, that's fair enough, uh, Mr. Essie. Um, we've, like I said, uh, we've all got to start somewhere, and understanding what may be uh, realistic is, is a good way to start, certainly. I mean, in terms of, like, as an example, uh, Samadan here has over 100k in sales. That's just sales, not profit, um, for the entire week, uh, this week. Uh, a scrapping add-on is called Easy Scrap. Uh, you can't quite see the full thing at the moment, um, but it's really handy. I know uh, Billis and Nexia does another one that also keeps track of everything as well. I tend to use this one as it's uh, as it's convenient for me. Uh, right, so we need to just disenchant all of this lot. So we'll go through all of this, and then we'll see what's left in the mail, and we should clear everything after that. Um, got lucky with a guy who tanked the Zenithid market and bought a lot to craft uh, unbridled fury pots. Very nice. Um, that's a good thing, good use of the Zenithid, because uh, Zenithid will always bounce back to the average price of your server, certainly. Uh, if you get fully set up, 100k a day isn't impossible. I'd agree. Um, ooh, I've just gone and zoomed in and out. I was holding control while scrolling up. Um, as uh, Big Mooney said, I would say um, 100k a day is possible. Um, but I would have to do a lot of um, hard work up until that point to get myself set up for it And I would think I would have to be on multiple servers. Um, I certainly don't think I could do it on Shadow Song, certainly uh, I'll just skip over uh, uh, Having a hard time uh, picking uh, to main between your high pop and low pop server. Why not both? Uh, Megan There's no reason why you can't main both. Um, that's your uh, rose has gone through the um, for the barn for the scrapping uh, for the scrapping for the fur. There we go. Uh, new and farming freehold um, can do it, but you can do it. But item level of four sixty. Um, yeah, as a new person, I don't know about freehold. Certainly, uh, vendor cell doesn't work for you. Um, then, um, what else would you have in your operation, um, Fedekine? Because I think it might even be in the default operations. Let me just have a look. Uh, if we go here, if I go to groups, no, operations, let's make a new one. A new auctioning operation. And so you have it here as the default. Um, it's here as vendor sell. It's, um, the default one has 1.5 times vendor cell, um, but it also has all this other stuff in them. The max between the um, quarter of the average between crafting, DB market, DB region market average. Um, so you could take that out. Um, 
you could just take all of that out and you could take all of that out and just have it as vendor cell like that oh just sold a machine is brilliant or you could just take out and have it as vendor cell like that so that should hopefully work for you it could be a, a spelling thing vendor v-e-n-d-o-r s-e-l-l -L. maybe give that a go Uh, we have two characters on. Oh, I missed it. Well, uh, never tried to make gold. Uh, you just started playing Miles just three months ago. So there's definitely options there. Um, you'd probably have to do a fair amount of work to get the um, to get your profession set up if that's something you wanted to pursue. Sounds like it was a mistake. You sold it. <laughs> I, I always get surprised by my own sales sometimes. Uh, Snowman, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. We're just going through and cleaning out my mailbox before looking at everything else in there. I think that's collected everything up. We've got a recovered item here. Um, do we find the objects in close? Okay, that's been recovered, it would look like. Um, we've got everything there. So we're clear on that. 198 uh, expulsion. So our gold for the week for Samadan in sales is 140,000 in gold. So we've got some sales of Umbra Shards, some Fusaka, enchants of various kinds, some uncanny cloaks, a couple of those for 6,000 gold, some food, the Biltong. I haven't made any of the uh, 8.3 uh, food. I'd like to get into doing that in a moment. Azure Silk Pants, uh, 31 gold there. A Crusader enchant, Force Multiplier, so these are um, Mark of the Frost Wolf, these are people using them for levelling. Um, and then we've got Enchant Cloak Binding of Strength for 8,500, that's very nice. Uh, rustic Workman Shirt, some bit of tailoring in there, Hex Weave Bag for 800. Load of Frost Weave Bags, Tuxedo Shirt, some more food, Nether Weave Bags for 16 gold. Mongoose, Critical Strikes, more Frost Weave Bags, Silk Weave Satchels and some uncanny gear there. So a good mix there of food, enchanting and tailoring, both old world um, and new. So we'll open up that, and that should take us over a million gold on uh, Samadan. That's been a long time since he's had a million gold, so I'm very happy with that. There we go. Um, I just got here, is that one day's worth of sales? No, not at all, uh, Risa Rocker, that is uh, the whole week of sales. So that's um, everything that Samadan has sold this week. Uh, do you need to import any custom prices? Uh, you shouldn't have to, uh, Divi Twitch, other than the things I use for my Bracer Super Shuffle, that's the main thing, really. And uh, Corp1 Satori, thank you very much for the follow as well. Thank you for stopping by. You said a million plus. I said no, exactly. <laughs> uh, what else did I miss? Uh, Dopalicious, good evening to you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Did I miss you coming in there earlier? Uh, it came to the gathering of gold makers. Uh, there we go. I missed it. <laughs> and chat, of course. <laughs> good evening to you. Um, but apologies if I miss anything in chat. I'm just uh, running through stuff and occasionally do miss uh, things scrolling past me. So, what have we got here? Uh, what's that for? Teaches you how to craft a void focus, an otherworldly crystal that harnesses power than Zoth needed to craft powerful pieces of armor. Oh, that's um, going to be for my Najitar, uh, my tailoring. The void focus for the tailoring to get, if I wanted to make the tailoring pants and uh, the, the bind on pickup ones. Um, which one is it? Is it not the the gilded sea weave breeches? Something like that. Those are 410 I could make for myself. I currently got 430 uh, gear as it is, but then you can get um, a restored um, focus or something else that uh, increases that or something like that, I think. Um, uh, TV Tattoos, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you miss Oreo. I, I miss Oreo too, uh, Derpalicious. I wish he could uh, have the courage to come up here and jump on the desk. Um, I found region market value is uh, way too high. Not normally, um, because uh, region market is an average across all regions, 
So for example, um, for here, for Umbra Shards, it's 44 gold. Um, so I, I see it as quite a stable price for me, certainly. Um, that's why you need to finish uh, Barn Level 3 first. Um, for gold making, uh, the void focus is pointless. Um, all you can do with it is uh, bind on pickup exactly, and that'll. So it might be useful, useful for um, personal things um, in progression of uh, Samadan, but I don't think there's much I can do here at the moment. I think I can go through a progression of the tailoring and get some uh, slightly higher gear, potentially. I think it's the same with all professions, but it's not something I've really uh, looked into at this stage, certainly. Now we could do. Um, wrong thing. Uh, we could do a load of um, restocking on Samadan, um, but I want to run through the gold on all the other characters first. So we'll concentrate on the gold uh, tonight. So let's go through and just check everyone else. Now that we've opened the gold on that one. So on to Jawakening and the Alchemy. We'll have a look at that one. Uncanny sales starting to pick up. I've certainly found that, uh, Doc Otter. There are the Proving to be uh, at least as good as uh, Notorious gear at the moment. Uh, you're on a full realm and it's so competitive that uh, region doesn't really work there. I use it as reference more than anything else, certainly. Okay, so where are we at? We had, oh, I had a whole load of stuff here that I was using for the example of making a group for transmog that I dug out of my bank. So that might be a good thing to actually do now. Before I do that though, um, let's check on the gold situation. So let's have a look at, we should have some expires here as well. So alchemy has done very well this week. We have 283,000 in sales of alchemy. Uh, uh, Ruskio, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Uncanny sales are up because of the XP buff. Yes, exactly. Uh, looks like I've filled up a stuff here. So let me um, post some stuff and then sort that out. I need to sort my bags out here. So let's just go through here and run a post scan on that lot. Um, okay, you've learned so much from the stream and the videos. I'm glad, I'm glad you've uh, learned something here. And thank you also for the chat for helping out when I, uh, when I miss anything. Uh, lots of knots being made, uh, you need to gear, lots of alts being made, uh, geared to enter mythics and raids and stuff, exactly. Um, uh, so that's um, 40,537 per day, that's very nice. When you when you do the math like that, that just definitely works out quite nice. But that's, um, that's sales, not uh, profit, because I buy a lot of Zin and Thid. Uh, Rika X, thank you very much for the follow, hope you're doing well. Um, so we just posted that lot on, and then let's just take those last expires, because um, yeah, if you look at my um, my Zin and Thid uh, purchases, uh, I will have bought a lot of Zin and Thid over over the time. I've purchased uh, fifty five thousand Zin and Thid for an average price of forty seven gold. So I buy a lot of Zin and Thid to feed this alchemy. But yeah, uh, that's a good good lot of sales there. Some uh, greater flask of endless fathoms, 45, 49,000, 43,000 there. Um, how often do I cancel or repost a day? Probably once a day on average, Megan. I would say. And when it comes to all my professions, first thing in the morning is my normal routine. I don't tend to do a lot of cancel scans on all my characters, but I will do it on alchemy and I will do it on inscription because there's only a few of those. But we'll take those, and that takes. Um, awakening up to over 500, no in fact uh, 650,000 gold, so that's really nice as well, the alchemy addiction, <laughs> um, imagine if I had farmed that Zin and Thid, yeah, I mean that would then be a question of my time more than anything else, um, so let's just think about what I've got here. So I've got a load of stuff in my bags that I wanted to get rid of. So going back to that tip on the, uh, the Wowhead blog. So let's have a look. Uh, I've got a load of stuff that I had in my bank, loads of old armor. Um, and I wanted to say, okay, of all of this old armor, let me list just the stuff that's worth more than, um, a thousand gold. 
So I'm going to go into TSM. I'm going to make a group. Uh, I already called it here, cell transmog. So this is all the stuff that's in my bags at the moment. I've got ignore item variations already on, which is what I prefer to do um, with TSM. So if I just type in slash a thousand gold, then that just shows me um, anything that's got a um, price underneath a thousand gold. But I want anything to be between a thousand gold and ten thousand gold. So I'll add in 10,000 gold there. And now I have a list of things. So this is now a price range between 1,000 and 10,000 gold. So all of these things I could put into a group for selling on the auction house. Um, and it might be worth my while um, posting these on. Now this is, uh, this is my market value. So it's not always representative. Just looking at these and comparing my market value versus region market value. They don't seem to be too bad at the moment, looking at all of those, in terms of all of those. So I will, whoop, and now I forgot to press enter there, which is why that um, changed. So I'll type that in again, a thousand gold slash 10,000 gold. Then you press enter and then it sticks. And then I can select all of these. I could use um, select all items as well, and then add them to my group of cell transmog. And then um, apologies if I'm missing stuff on chat. Whilst I just go through this brain process, um, I'll just focus on this for the moment. So auctioning operations. Uh, let's add override this one. And do I have anything here at the moment? Um, I guess I want to look at either DB market or um, DB region market average if I was to sell transmog. So let's make a new operation. Let's do something new. And we'll do just a average between um, DB market and region. Let's enter for that. And then our posting operation for this will go for 48 hours. Uh, post cap, I can leave at the default five. I only really want to be selling one of these at any one time. Now I'll use um, this average part here. So I'm going to take. Um, Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's just press enter to get that back. Um, I wanted that from there. Just that beginning part. Actually, I can take this part here. I just want the text DB region, DB market and DB region market average. So I'll take that lot and I'll take that lot. Uh, oh, Danny, thank you very much. 19 months. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. That's so long. Thank you very much for your continued support. That is really really appreciate it thank you Danny good to have you here for all this time I should have done more remotes than that I clicked on more there we go uh, get a whole load in for you and Vendulis thank you very much for the follow and Ursarin also resubbing for uh, five months in a row fantastic thank you very much for that as well a whole load of emotes for you thank you indeed everyone for your continued support here it really is appreciated so thank you um, if I did miss anything in chat there whilst I was focusing on uh, the screen, please do uh, shout out again if uh, you want me to uh, catch something. Oh wow, <laughs> Siren coming straight in there and gifting five subs as well. Wow, <laughs> Oreo is going to be rolling over forever. Thank you very much. That's incredibly generous of you. Thank you. If you were one of those uh, that did get a uh, sub from Ursarin, uh, please do share some uh, emotes in chat. Thank you very much. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. Whilst I've just got my train thought, train of thought, uh, I'm just going to type this in. No, I want average. Average. Um, and then I'm going to put some percentages in here in a moment. Something like, um, I don't want to go lower than, say, 60%. DB market or 60% DB region market average, something like that. Uh, I certainly don't want to go below um, vendor sell, so we could add in um, vendor sell into our option there and put a min there, brackets there. So actually, no, that'd be maximum. 
the maximum between either the average of 60% DB market and 60% uh, DB region market average or vendor sell. Something like that. Ah, that didn't work. Your price was incorrect. There was something I missed there. You have to type that out again. Uh, let me just chat up on cat. Um, best teacher ever. Thank you very much, Above His. Um, each work order, oh, that's for your work orders. Um, don't really have a price on the fur. Uh, that's fair enough. Uh, you've got to do whichever one works for you, uh, Rose, certainly. Um, so three characters means uh, 18 blood a day. Enough for one one time. Oh, that's for the uh, other things Rose was talking about. Okay, so let's look at this again. So um, you want the minimum between two values and then the average, whoops, average between two values. So I'm putting the brackets in now, then a comma, then a vendor cell as one, and then this one is going to be 60% DB market. I tend to make these up, um, but it doesn't really matter. It's worth looking at the tooltip once you've put all of this lot in. Um, uh, DB region market average. Helps if you spell that correct. Refion region. Just check all my stuff. And then this time, I'm going to select it all and copy it so that if it is incorrect, I can uh, have a look why. Press enter. Uh, TSM's not complaining about it that time. So that's working. So we're looking at uh, minimum there. I really want maximum. So let's just change that to maximum. There we go. Uh, you're heading to bed. I've uh, got to get up early tomorrow for work. Uh, good night, uh, Stacken. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. Have a great rest of your evening and hopefully see you soon. Um, I will hopefully again be streaming uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, whilst I'm working from home. So hopefully uh, I'll get to catch you during the week. Now I'm going to post this on here as something more conservative, say 200% DB market and 200% um, region market. I'm keeping these as uh, both percentages on each one so I can change them at a later date if I want to. Um, when below minimum, we want to post at minimum. Oh, we just sold a greater flask of the undertow. Fantastic. When above maximum, we'll post at maximum. And then we'll add this in. I've still got vendor cell here. Um, I could probably want to do, um, we could do um, 400% vendor cell. And then here we can do uh, normal, let's just take the average DB market and take this all out, DB region market average, and I'll put this at 150% um, vendor sell. There we go, that's our normal price, something like that. So, this would be like a standard uh, transmoggy type posting operation that we've got uh, using an average between mainly DB market and DB region market average. So this is assigned to my group cell transmog. If we look at it here, it's on here. So what I'll also do is have a look at some of that stuff that has this on and just look at what the prices are in the tooltip. Um, so find one that's, this one's on the cell transmog group. And so the min buyout is currently 8,000 gold. My min normal max, now that doesn't look quite right. My minimum is 2,800, my normal is 14 gold, and my maximum is 39 gold. So immediately what I've thought there is I put minimum in and not maximum. So we go back to my operations, I have a look at here, go to my posting, and I changed that one to max, but I forgot to change these two, which are still saying minimum. So I change those two to max, and this one to max. I want the maximum amount of either of those. Now when I look at my tooltip for one of those, sell transmog, um, so the uh, the market value telling me is 1,400. Region market value is 2,700. So my minimum price is 1,200. Normal price is 2,000. And maximum price is 4,000. Okay, that seems reasonable. So let's go and do a posting uh, operation of those bits of transmog, so I need to make sure it's selected. I run a post scan. And so it's got um, some of my other operations here, Silas 1's uh, average DB market, 
It's coming in there. It's coming in for all of these. So let's post all of those on. See if we get uh, some sales with those little bits of transmog. Um, I didn't see uh, Dark Queen. Um, yeah, as uh, sorry, uh, Corpse Satori, uh, you caught that one and the minimum, not maximum. Uh, apologies if I mixed missed anything there. Um, uh, it keeps playing select value slot. Um, oh, Hulk Hogan, I'm not sure why it's not working. If anyone else has got the similar problem for you, let me just catch up on the uh, other bits. Uh, that was uh, for the times and stuff like that. Okay, make it cool. Right. Uh, can I share the formula? I certainly can, uh, Faderkind. Let me just post it in here. So I'll copy and paste it there. I'm going to change that to max. That's from my um, from one. There we go. And then you just adjust the percentages depending on your min, max, and normal. Um, and that should work as a as a just a generic um, sort of transmoggy type thing that's going for an average between the DB market and the DB region market. You can weight it more towards DB market or more towards DB region market by adding more of those in. It's like do a comma and another one. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to keep it uh, like that for the moment. We've had some sales here, which is really nice. Whilst I've been posting things on there, 20,000 gold in uh, Flask of the Currents and 1,000 gold in Flask of the Undertow. Hopefully, we really need to restock on our alchemy here. I do have a few bits and pieces here that were not within that price range. I'm going to assume they're not above 10,000 gold. Oh, it looks like there is uh, one thing there. Uh, the Zandalari head cleaver is telling me a market value of 350,000 gold. Okay, I haven't checked for Silas yet. Um, that's going to be necessary here. So that, I think, should maybe have gone into our group. Not at that price, though. 350,000 seems ridiculously high, considering the region average is 17,000. I mean, it is... Um, a item level 115 axe so I can't see that one uh, being uh, that price but I'll add it to the group you never know <laughs> okay as, as Will says exactly uh, love all, thank you very much for the follow hope you're doing well so let's add that one in our cell transmog we've got ignore item variations on uh, so the Zandalari head cleaver let's pop that one in let me just check any of these others see that one um, that had a market value of 400, but it's got a region market value of 3000. So I'm going to add that one in as well. So this was missed from our list of things. That's below my value. Um, primordial Greaves. That one, that one should have gone in there. I would have thought. Um, binds when equipped. I'm going to add that one in. The Claw will miss. Uh, that one will miss. Crystal Sword has a region value of 1,300. Um, so we'll add that one in. Corroded Hacker region is 4,500. That didn't have a market value, which is why that didn't appear. So we're going to pop that one in as well. And then the leggings, that one also is saying um, 13,000. I don't know why that one didn't go in the list. So we'll add that in as well. Okay, so that's a good start at least. So the long staff and everything else will leave. So I'll add that one in. Um, what do I use for the sound notification in sales? Uh, that is just the till sound uh, that's default on TSM. Um, how often do the rank three alchemy recipes uh, come around as a work order? I'm not sure exactly, McBainey. Um I think there's something in the... Um, you can sign up for a role on the, the WoW Economy Discord and you'll get a notification whenever they're up. That might be useful, I think. Um, oh, did we miss a birthday? Uh, by the way, it's your birthday today. Uh, level uh, 51. <laughs> Best place to spend it. Oh, well, happy uh, birthday to you, Apophis, and uh, thank you for uh, choosing to spend your time here. That's a wonderful uh, age to be, so congratulations on you. I have lots of emotes. Happy birthday to you. And hopefully your isolation, if you are in isolation birthday, is um, is, a, is a nice and fun time for you. 
Um, how many, much anchors am I buying? Um, not a huge amount. I tend to try and have about a thousand in stock on me. I do have the transmute bo uh, bags to anchors. I've got 14 of them here at the moment, so I can turn those rapidly into something else. Um, should I wish to. Let me just post those on and then I can clear my bags a little bit. That seems to be the main problem here. So some of these are going below min price. Um, the crystal sword being one of them. This one being at 350,000. We'll give it a go. I've got a feeling that's not going to sell at that price. But we'll, we'll see. And then I'll sell some of those missing items uh, where I'm left with. Uh, we'll take that one. So that's got a uh, massive Viridian Claw. That's got a 1,900 region. I haven't collected the appearance on that one, which I might want to collect up myself. Okay, so let's collect the appearance of that one. And then we'll swap back. And then we'll sell that one. I have to concentrate whilst I do that. That one I want to add to my list. Uh, that I'm going to just sell. 385, uh, that's got the cult here and herbalism on it, we'll leave that there. 355, uh, singed plumage, that was an upgrade. Um, I could probably scrap that, maybe. Uh, let me just add that in. And we'll go here onto that transmog. The massive Viridian Claw, it wasn't that one, it was something else. Did I miss that? Was it in something else? Let me just have a look. What am I missing here? Uh, yes, it was the massive claw. Okay, it's probably because I've got the ignore item variations on. That's probably why. So let me just add that in. That could explain it on that in that uh, instance. So let's just pop that on there because it's taking the um, all the different variations and it's going to match the cheapest one there. That's why that one's not on there. So I'll run a post scan on that. So that's why that filter didn't work quite as well as it could have done, um, because it's going below min price on all the different variations, yet the price on the existing variation that I have is different. That explains it. Okay. All right, let me just catch up. What have I missed on um, chat? Um, having uh, all ducks, uh, an all ducks birthday party this year. <laughs> Um, are my default operations also modified or, um, or do you just um, delete them? Um, it depends whether you want to use any of them, uh, Divi Twitch. Um, you're more than welcome to use them if you find them useful. Uh, 123 hours. Um, um, I want to start uh, WoW now. Uh, should you play uh, vanilla or normal WoW? Take whichever one uh, appeals to you the most. Uh, vanilla is definitely um, for those that like the like the WoW as it was back uh, 15 years ago. Um, but the WoW of today, Retail WoW, is definitely a lot more user friendly and there's a lot and lot of content to do. Uh, Jack and Neil, good evening to you, hope you're doing well. Um, you prefer normal, um, there's more choices when it comes to uh, classes and races, more fancy flavor as well, exactly as uh, Rose said. Um, and there is a monk there as well, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, um, I delete them. Um, I did uh, earlier this week. I go to his pace bin. Was that for um, oh the default operations? Oh, now now I see what I mean. Yes, I delete them because um, I don't find them that useful. Um, but they are interesting to look at uh, as a start. Um, ben Jones, thank you very much for the follow. Um, and uh, Kleptician, good evening to you. I hope you're doing well. Retail for the content. I like both. As uh, Trash Panda said, I would love to be able to play both, but I don't have time to be able to play both, unfortunately. The nostalgia is definitely nice on Classic. Classic has a really relaxed uh, play style. Uh, you don't, you're not button mashing quite so much. Well, that's certainly the way I play it anyway. Um, you got bored when you got to the end game of Classic. Well, that was the thing for me is, well, especially way back when it was vanilla, um, I was always a casual player right through the sort of early years of uh, WoW, so I never got to the end game, so there was always more for me to do. And it kind of feels like I'm at that situation even now um, in retail, because I'd never really done any dungeons up until this point, suddenly uh, taking on Mythics at, the, at this time in the expansion means it's all fresh and new for me. 
And so I'm doing things like dungeons for the first time, um, which is really nice. Uh, uh, I'm not the developer and may not have no insight on the issue, uh, but just curious if you may have any input. I'm watching uh, me cancel post, and you can do uh, 114 before you can do 5. It's extremely slow. Any ideas? I think it can sometimes be down to uh, lag on the server, and also with the new auction house update, uh, there's now a confirmation box that TSM has to make sure that uh, it goes through and clicks as you're going through and doing your cancel scans. I only try and do cancel scans on things where I have a few auctions, um, and also I find on my server it's, um, it's quite good in terms of lag, so I'm kind of like... Um, got double the bonus there but I do understand on some servers it can be uh, quite tricky um, I'm not sure of a solution to it unfortunately I think it may be a case of just uh, seeing what Blizzard do with the auction house API and see what TSM do and if there's anything they can do I'm sure they would um, if there's something they could do to make it faster they would um, it does depend on servers um, uh, only play classic for like an hour or two if that. Question time, uh, how can I get rid of uh, TSM thinks that you have all the mats in your bank all the time? You hate it, you hate it a lot. I uh, don't want to open the bank all the time since uh, sitting on the garrison without bank there too. Too lazy to add the bank. I think Metcat, that happens most because um, quite often, and I do this myself, is I craft from my main bank tab, which while unofficially um, supported, means um, TSM can't track that you're crafting from your bank, not from your uh, reagent bank, this is from your actual bank. So um, there's no real reason uh, to do it otherwise than if you make sure that everything in your bank is not something has, that's got craftable materials in it, and you just use your, say, your reagent bank, um, and then I think TSM will be able to track that better, hopefully. Um, it's your birthday too as well, is it, Dent? Oh, congratulations, happy birthday to you as well. That's fantastic. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a lovely time. Let's see, lots of emotes for you. Lots of chef's hats. Um, what else? Uh, any ideas how to farm haunting spirits uh, needed on Pandaria high-end crafting? You tried Siege of Orgrimmar, but nothing uh, you, you disenchanted gave him. I'm not sure on that one, Aranga. I'm not familiar with that end of uh, Pandaria crafts, unfortunately. If anyone else does have um, any ideas, uh, please do shout out in chat. Uh, random question. Um, how do I find the fit on my QWERTY t-shirts? So, I am a medium... Um, when, I, when it comes to the QWERTY t-shirts, and I find they fit, uh, they fit me uh, really well. They also fit my son, uh, who's 15, um, they fit him uh, really well. If you think your chest might be slightly larger than that, then uh, go for a large. On the women's side of things, I know um, my wife and my daughter have found that the sizes are very uh, small by comparison to uh, regular women's sizes, so for those I would always suggest go up higher, because um, they seem to be um, on the smaller side. Uh, so basically put things, everything in the reagent bank. I think so, um, give that a go. Um, but yes, the other solution is, as you've said, is just keep on visiting um, um, keep visiting the bank so TSM can realise um, what's uh, what's in there and what's not. Also, just hit one million gold today for the first time as well. Oh, fantastic! Debt. That's a double milestone indeed. That one million is brilliant. So uh, lots of uh, you lots of Samadan gold eyes for that one. Or oh, on a shrug right. I didn't mean to click that one. Whoops. <laughs> All these birthdays. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, what else did I miss? Um, you just enchant uh, mythic Pandaria stuff. Um, Throne of Thunder. Okay, thank you, Chunky Brothers. Um, I'm not medium. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> thank you, Darkwing. Um, yeah, Throne of Thunder uh, disenchants. Okay, thank you all. It's not your birthday. It's not my birthday either. Um, right, I think I almost caught up on chat then until it uh, goes on through again. So before it... Uh, runs away from me again. Let me just uh, check what I'm doing because I completely Amazing. forgotten. So I got some transmog on. That was the last thing. We had some sales, which was good. Our bags are looking like they're fairly clear. 
of main stuff. So let's see if we can get ourselves a Silas proc, hopefully. Uh, oh, we do. Fantastic. That's exactly what we needed. And uh, we also need to do our transmute bag herbs to anchors. So we'll do that whilst we're here. And now we need to do a restock. So let's first and foremost have a look at the auction house. So TSM can see everything that's there and I'll track it correctly. It knows what's already in my bags and things like that. And so we'll go on to TSM, onto my groups. I'm just gonna concentrate on the Silas rank three uh, restocking at the moment. So we'll need a lot of Endless Fathoms, Unbridled Fury, Lightfoot Potions. Do I have enough materials here? We're a bit shy on Zin and Thid. And Crystal Vials will need some, and some Anchor Weed will need. But I do um, have some in my bag of anchors for that. And we do need some river bud. Okay, so let's ignore all the cooldowns, ignore all the expirations. Uh, river bud I can get from the guild bank, so that's a good start. Let's grab that first. So we'll go in here and we'll grab some river bud. We'll move that. I haven't uh, got the uh, prop going yet. So the anchor weed, we need to just go through here. And we'll convert some of these. We'll get 10 for each of these. Oops, click the wrong button. So we'll get to sell some anchor weed here. We'll also get a load of those anchors, fell slate anchors. We just need to destroy those. Sell some of the, the bags and things like that. But this will give us a whole load of anchor weed. Usually 10 anchor weed at a time. Sometimes you get more, but usually it's 10. Get rid of all of those. And then I'm going to destroy these Felslate Anchors. I don't see much point in selling those. I've never really got a sale of those. But I do have to confirm to destroy them. So I'll just get rid of those. I can sell the um, vendor all the Anchor Weed flavoured consumables in a moment. Just get rid of those. That's easy enough. Right, I'll just... Pardon me if I ignore chat for the moment, I'll just focus on this for the moment because I'm on a limited time with the Silas buff once I initiate it. I'll go around here and use my reputation to get some crystal vials at a reasonable price. So I'll pick up, let's use the standard interface and I'll get three stacks of that. So I'll collect that up. And now we just need some Zinanthid. So let's have a look at the auction house for Zinanthid. Uh, shopping, BFA herbs. I'll have a look at this. Okay, Zinanthid is at a good price uh, 47 and 48 gold. Uh, market value is currently at 58 gold. So I will buy all of that 1,942. That's going to cost me 93,000 gold. I'll take all of that. Now I'll be tempting to get um, some more of this at this price. I'd like to have about 3,000 Zinnithid on me at any one time. So I've got um, about 1,500 on my bags and another 19 on the mail so that should keep me going for a little while I do have to restock in a few more so I might buy some more after this let's get a little bit more than that so let's just pick that up from the buys at the moment then once I've done all this I'll catch up on chat do apologize if I miss anything right now so we now need to do our um, where's our Silas buff gone should have been there. The sun is a potion of prosperity. I did see it pop up. Um, the sun is a potion of prosperity. Yeah, it's there. So let me just drag that over to there. That's That should have been there. Close that down. Close that down. We have our alchemy. Uh, we don't need to gather anything. We have crafting of all of these. So let's kick off the the proc, there we go, and let's get going with Unbridled Fury, so this should be a um, 72,000 profit, 
Um, superior Battle Potion of Stamina. It's the Flasks of the Endless Fathoms I really want to get a good... Um, you always forget to activate it, wasting three cross and then realise I forgot. I, I would be lying if I said I didn't do that as well from time to time. Right, so now I can't click on this because sometimes TSM has a problem and bugs out on this, so I can't actually craft these from here, but I can remember to do it myself just from the uh, standard interface. So, except I can't remember what it was. Endless Fathoms, there it is. Uh, so we'll go here, Endless Fathoms, I can make 80 exactly here, so I'll just click Create All, and I'll run through that. Uh, things is that proc uh, for this uh, purpose. Um, all the time you get that proc, you always get happy, even though you won't craft anything, uh, just to make people smile. <laughs> it's a good way of getting people to smile. Uh, there's a times five in there, that was good. We've got a good load of this. Okay, whilst that's going, actually, I should be able to just uh, scan through the uh, chat, see what I missed out on. Um, well, there's uh, a lot of stuff here. Uh, question you need to do to unlock that island, uh, check on YouTube. Uh, is that for the Throne of Thunder? Oh yes, I think you do have to do that. Check check Wowhead as well. Um, the Shadowpan Garrison in the uh, Tower Long Steps to take the portal. Okay. Uh, you just hit uh, 4 million gold, so 1 million more to go. Oh, excellent. Um, Spiked Angel, that's fantastic. Um, Going to attempt a 5 man vision, uh, so you need to concentrate. Have fun making gold here. No worries, uh, no. Good luck on the. Um, Five man, five mask vision. Uh, just hit your first million yesterday. Lots of work to come, but great progress so far. Oh, what an MD! Congratulations on that as well. That first million is really, really good uh, to have. Um, the raid itself is uh, low pop server magic. I mean, this is medium pop server if you're thinking about the prices here. Um, the raid itself is on an island you get to via the portal. Oh, yes, that was on. Uh, Sherlock, good evening to you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, still hacking away it, but getting closer, uh, sitting at 800,000, very nice. Congratulations on that. Okay, I'm going to quickly just jump back into my, because um, that's done, and I need to make 40 light feet potions. Is it light feet potions? I can make 42, so I'll just click create all, I'll let that run through. Uh, Zenders, and thank you very much for the follow. And what else did I miss? You've got to activate it, I did that bit. Um... Yeah, I think I caught up on chats. Uh, Specker, good evening to you. I hope you're having a lovely evening so far. Um, then you have a messed up market. Um, for me, I I think this market's great. Uh, I still find it really weird to see you uh, not sitting on the ground. I know Specker, it's very it's very strange. I'm not used to it myself. I miss I miss Oreo sitting next to me certainly. I uh, hope you're doing well though. Yeah, it's lovely to have you here. I'm doing very well. I'm having lots of fun uh, with our Silas proc at the moment. What I will do is probably, as soon as I've done this, um, post these on and then log off as uh, Awakening, and so I can reset the uh, the buff uh, a bit later, maybe in another sort of 17 minutes time, something like that, ready for the next time I need it. So let's go through him, and we'll go through and post all of this lot on. This is why I did this last. So light foot potion, agility, stamina, unbridled fury, endless fathoms, and the undertow. Those can all go on. Um, how am I doing for Zinanthid now? Let me just quickly check this, actually, because I just probably spent a whole load of that. And so I just want to double check on that. I've now got six minutes left on the buff, but if I remember to come back here in another 16 minutes, then I can refresh that buff. So that should be all right. Um, Oh, Persephone, how are you? Beat Bomp, the robot formerly known as Persephone is here. <laughs> Lovely to have you here. How has your weekend been? I hope it's been good. Okay, so Zin and Thid, we're down to 1,700, so I need to buy up a f bit more of this. I want to buy at least 1,500 of it. At least. Let's round that up to 2,000. That's going to cost me nearly 100,000 gold, so even though I made like 280,000 gold, um, my saving of Zinanthid and buying it up for the next week does mean that this gets a, a sizable chunk taken out of it as well. So we're down to 461,000 here at the moment. Uh, Mysian, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Um, and let me just quickly check. Uh, I can see chat's... Uh, kicking off at the moment. Let me just check the numbers. Okay, we've run out of star moss. 
So let's buy all of that at 9 gold. I'll take that. And that gives me at least a, a little bit more. Zenith is fine. Winter's Kiss, we're running low on. Uh, currently at 8 gold. So we'll, we could get that cheaper at a different time. 6 gold 39 is my average buy price. Uh, let's just buy a couple of hundred of that, just so that I've got my averages okay on there for the moment. And then Anchor Weed, we have 146 of, so we'll just keep an eye on the price of that. It's a bit high at the moment. Um, we'll see if we can get that lower. Sea Stalk, we have enough at the moment. River Bud, we are almost out of. Currently at 10 gold, though. That should be okay for the moment to buy a little bit of that. Let's buy couple of hundred of that. Just got a restock here. Siren's Pollen again almost out. 17 gold though, that's really expensive Siren's Pollen. I I think I'll leave buying that for the moment. I'll come back to that at a different date. Unless I really, really need it. So I'll pick those up, clear the mailbox, let TSM register all of those purchases. And then hopefully we'll get some good sales over the week and get our, our gold reserves back up. So we're now sitting at 453,000 gold. I think I was on about 350 when I started. So that was about 100,000 gold profit. If you take a, a rough guess as the expenses I've just paid for, for the next week's worth of uh, crafting. I'll come out of um, Jawakeney now and then I'll catch up on chat. So let's just come, actually now I can chat, uh, check chat first and then I'll come back to this uh, what did I miss there's loads of stuff wow okay uh, enjoying your Volpera maze so much um, uh, it's great you've endless options for transmog that look amazing also happy uh, the mage part instant pyroblasts are awesome excellent I'm glad you're finding a um, class and race you're um, you're enjoying um, most of that was raw gold, learn TSM, lots of stuff to learn, but kind of already made some groups. Excellent, good start, definitely. Um, how much gold is needed to start the Persephone bot? <laughs> you just bought 15k out of the mailbox off a four gold vendor pattern, so having a wonderful weekend. Oh, that's fantastic, Persephone. It's uh, nice to have moments like that, certainly. Um, mages leveling needs to be frost. I'll, I've never played a mage, so I don't know. Uh, wasn't Zenithid around 60 or so a week back on Shadow Song? Um, it was. Um, it fluctuates a fair amount, so um, it's worth um, it's worth definitely keeping an eye on the prices. Whilst they're this price, I'm keep I'm certainly buying it uh, buying it whilst I can. Um, also selling some uh, Mythic Plus runs. That's a market I would I don't think I'll ever get into myself, but I'm really glad that people do it. Uh, today you made 150k uh, with only Legion items. You enjoy it much more than BFA farms. Oh, fantastic. So are you enjoying the uh, the personal loot in the Legion dungeons for that one? Um, and you made it to the Long Boy this weekend finally. Oh, fantastic. Um, Mad uh, Malpox, congratulations to you. Um, sorry I missed that when you said it. But loads of... Oops, I've done that again. Uh, loads of Long Boys for you. Congratulations. That's absolutely fantastic news. Um, just making sure I haven't, um, you prefer the older farms as well, uh, okay, that's good. Um, then go back to normal, uh, so many people farming at the moment on Shadow Song. Um, so 40, uh, normal price, someone reset it to 80, then it goes back to normal. Yeah, so it, it does, when it gets reset, it does get reset quite high, certainly. Um, uh, you struggle with whether to buy that much herbs, um, or farming it. It's... It's a difficult struggle. I think you just have to get the right balance in terms of knowing how much you're going to consume that week in your sales. So it's not always easy, um, but um, and sometimes you can get it wrong. But I always like to just make sure I've got enough at the moment. What's enough is up to whether you mentally know it. Um, uh, but you value your time, then decide yes, as uh, Metka was saying as well. Um, does roasted quail um, have a use? You don't understand. I accidentally posted a stack and someone bought this uh, vendor meat for 20 gold a piece. I don't know. Um, the, the, um, try, try putting some more on and see if you can get some more sales. Vendor stuff does sell on the auction house. Um, Nadamas can testify to that, certainly. Um, Alex Anderson, um, new to gold farming. Any tips uh, which... Um, 
dungeon to start. So far I was just doing our weekly legacy raids. We should be back uh, momentarily. Let me just see if I can restart my WoW. And then we'll be back into the fray of things. Do apologise for that, my internet decided to uh, turn itself off. Let's go back in. Or am I not online? Let's go online. There we go. We're back. We're back. We're coming in. No, it was my side. My internet decided to fall over. We're just coming back now. Let's just jump back in. There we go. We're back. <laughs> Safe and sound. I do apologise if I missed anything there. <laughs> Blame Specker. He came in last and broke it. <laughs> Oh, and thank you, uh, Ruben Eva. Thank you very much for the follow. Straight as I've come back in. I was just about to say tips and boom. <laughs> I went, I do apologise if I missed anything in chat there, whilst that was all going on. Uh, Umbrook, good evening to you. I hope you're doing well. If, you, if there's something I missed in chat, please do shout it out again. Um, so I do apologise if I did miss anything there. Um, we've lost our buff at the moment, so we need to... Um, jump in and defeat master thank you also for the follow thanks for stopping by so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna have to come back in six minutes to redo this buff so we'll have enough time to just go through and uh check in on a couple more characters so let's have a look at stabadan see how much gold he's made this week uh sorry for the stupid question there's never such a thing as a stupid question jack and Hill, but good to have you uh asking it uh, but for the re-roll and the reputation, um, how do you plan for rank 3? Because it's really an ordeal to do uh, several jobs. Um, I asked the stupid questions here. <laughs> um, I don't understand what you mean for the re-roll um, and the reputation. Uh, I don't necessarily plan uh, rank 3s. Um, as such, do you mean sort of like the order hall quest for getting the rank threes? Meaning uh, starting a new alt. Um, uh, there was a streamer with a marvellous beard who suddenly went offline. I assume it was a disconnect, but I'll let uh, Sherlock Holmes take care of this investigation. <laughs> okay, Speckert. That's fantastic. Um, re oh, re-rolling a, uh, a new character. Re-roll a new alt. Okay. Reroll is new alt. Um, plan for rank three because it's really an ordeal to do several jobs. Um, yes, I guess I would basically I would try and take it in small chunks as best as possible. Um, the the thing with um, bringing up an alt and rerolling a character like that is it's it is worth it um, if you can get it up, but you do have to put the work in. But think of it this way: um, work you're putting in is uh, work that someone else may or may not be prepared to do and therefore if you're prepared to do it and go through all the steps required to do it um, then you are at an advantage and that's where the profits come in at least that's how i think of it certainly i don't think i've got that have i no okay so let's head over to a mailbox let's go back over to our trade area and get this lot sorted so Let's go to our standard mailbox, I think, where everyone lives. And then we'll head on over here. So we've got some expires. Let's deal with the expires first. But we have got some decent amount of gold here. So an inscription has done well this uh, this week. 48,000 gold. So we have... Oh, we sold an uncanny combatant's etched vessel for 13,000. Compendium of Storms. Uh, Sundering and Mystical Bulwark, two Compendiums of Storms, no, three Compendiums of Storms. Um, so that's really nice. Um, and that gets me off the starting blocks in terms of gold now, because I was struggling at one point here. I've got 737. So this is mainly down to my Zinanthid prices, uh, not being able to make all my maroon ink. So let's start with that lot. Um, Watson, Sherlock, I forget, uh, what is the first step of the English school system called again? Um, Sherlock Holmes, elementary, dear Watson. <laughs> um, that's, that would be a good joke, Rose, but um, 
the first step of the English school system is actually called primary school here. Um, elementary school is the American one, isn't it? But it does. I, I get the uh, I get the sentiment though. <laughs> it was it was almost good, almost good. I say uh, infant school or primary. <laughs> But it's a good use of elementary, certainly. Uh, companions and selling one to two a day for you as well, uh, CDM. Oh, that's good to know. So we're doing all right um, in terms of inscription. Uh, 49,000 gold on us. Let's restock on this lot. Uh, so let's get... Um, you don't know what it is in America. We just call it uh, basic school. Oh, interesting. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two so let's go through and run a post scan. Turn on the quiet mind, contracts. Most of those are below min price because I haven't quite got the reputation for all of them. Highborn compendiums, and we've got one uncanny etch vessel. I didn't quite have enough to make another one just yet. So let's have a look. Um, um, uh, oh, kindergarten. Um, what is our public school in the UK and that's that's the tricky part because um, in um, in the UK public school is like a, a private school one you pay for but it's called public school it's not um, and a public school a school for the public is usually called a comprehensive school so it's really confusing it doesn't make any sense whatsoever um, I tried farming in the theatre with a sky golem and uh, it made you paranoid after five minutes or something. I don't know if you can be able to make it through um, some small areas uh, that can fit and falling. Uh, then I came back to your druids. Yeah, druids are, are much better um, for farming herbs, certainly. The sky golem is a, a tricky one, certainly. Your server prices are low and my operations don't allow you to post. Uh, what's my idea? Um, so I would have a look. Um, have a look at your... Um, your server's prices and then look at your operations or the ones that I'm using and then um, look at the tooltips and just adjust the percentages until they fall within the bracket ranges that you're comfortable with. Um, that's the best thing I can suggest really. Um, so you, you have grade school and before that, uh, before six it's kindergarten. Yeah. Yeah, there's public schools, comprehensive, and now academies. It's a bit all over the shop, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a that's a good summary of it. Will definitely um, the school discussion. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to carry on with the gold discussion. Um, should you get some operations that work uh, like it's overcrafting price? Um, should I get some operations that work like? Um, if it's over crafting class, allow me to post. Um, you're not an expert in tier 7, unfortunately. I mean, uh, crafting, having over crafting price is, if you're crafting something, definitely the way to go, certainly. Um, but, um, yeah, as Metcat said, um, if you farm materials, do you farm materials? Uh, you smart averages for your purchase price and accounting tab on TSM. And I also add in, in my default um, crafting uh, setting here, so you've got both accounting, uh, you turn this on, use smart average for purchase price. And for my um, my default um, my default material cost, I add in average buy as part of this string because I buy most of my stuff from the auction house. So for me, this works really well. Those are the two things I change from the default TSM setup. Sometimes you farm, but mainly buy. You could try those ones. Certainly, um, that might that might um, that might help. Um, are the scripts I create in any specific um, programming language? Um, I don't. Uh, I don't actually make any scripts um, per se, um, Kamisama, unless you're talking about the stuff I do at work, uh, which I use Maya uh, for on the 3D side of things. But I, the scripts I use for that are pretty much um, sort of like specific um, to the stuff I do. That's probably not what you meant. Um, I just want your name like exactly. A dude, no one likes to be all like you. Um, do you make enough to buy BFH tokens uh, from just Legion Farm? If so, that's great going. Yeah, it definitely is good going if you do. 
Um, so we've opened that up. We've posted our auctions on. Yep, those are all on. So now we need to check um, for restocking on things. Let's clear the queue of that, of the alchemy side of things. Um, now I don't have the uncanny gear in here. One hideborn companion, one Tortolan, um seekers, but I also want to put in... Um, oh, we've just sold another highborn companion, fantastic. Uh, of Sundering, that one. So I want the uncanny vessels. Um, I want to make some more of these. So crafting wise, I want to add in a crafting operation. Let's make three of each. As we sold one, we ideally want enough so we've got a variation on them all, but I can't necessarily afford to make all of those um, in one go yet. Um, oh, we've just sold a second um, Highborn Compendium of Sundry. That's fantastic. Um, so let's have a look at that. Uh, groups, that's done. So we'll go here, we'll just double check that, my auctions, and then we will go through. I remember telling Sam and Dan that those inscription things will sell. And there we go, Metcat. Uh, the proof is in the pudding, definitely. So here we go. Check that, restock that. So now we have uh, the highborn compendiums. This hasn't come through yet on the uncanny vassals. Uh, I may have to do a reload on that. I'm not sure if it will uh, register it. Slash reload. Let's just try. Uh, the Cow King, good evening to you. Glad you uh, made it here. Good to have you here. Hope you're doing well. We're just going through inscription at the moment. We've gone through all our gold making on the other characters for the moment. Let's just check that that worked. Let's check uh, groups, restock. No, the uncanny vessel still isn't in there. Let me just double check that. So uncanny vessels, how many do I have at the moment? So crafting, let's switch to the standard interface. Uncanny combatants, etch vessel. I've now got this at rank three, thanks to uh, comp stomp. I have one on the auction house, so I should be making three of these. Let me just double check my operation that I did it correctly. So groups, um, uncanny vessel, group operations. Ah, no, no, I need to change this. That's what I need to change. We have uncanny selling and uncanny uh, crafting. This is uncanny selling. We need to set this up with two different groups. So uncanny selling, like so. And then we need another group. And we'll call this uncanny crafting. This is the only time you can have uh, two items in one group, whereas this one, the uncanny crafting, is going to have ignore item variations checked. Now, I haven't got one in my bags, so that would have been useful. So let's just make one whilst we're here. Let's go to our, let's make a, let's close that down for the moment. Uh, uncanny and etched vessel, we need more uh, maroon ink. So let's go back another step and get ourselves some Xenanthid with our new found gold. Uh, let's run a shopping scan on that one. Um, uh, open the auction house uh, and close it and it will pop up. Yeah, I think that could have been one of the issues, but I'm going to go with this one at the moment. So Xenanthid, that stock of 13,000 has gone down a fair amount now. So people are buying it up at this price. Um, how much can I afford? I've got 49,000 gold. I want to spend at most maybe 40,000 gold. So... A thousand will give me 48,000 gold, which is a bit too close. So let's try um, 800, will give me 39,000 gold uh, total price. That still gives me a little bit of gold left. So we'll buy those, 800 of those. Now I've got a whole load of maroon ink to make. So let me just uh, go through that in a moment. And mass mill Zinanthid, create 40 of those. Let that run through and we'll let that go through. Um, um, so are you making most uh, of the gold from uh, professions or transmog selling? Most definitely uh, professions. Make, I make most of my gold from professions. 
Uh, you made 80k profit Friday to Saturday on Alchemy. Uh, thanks for the great Salamander teachings. Excellent, Cow King. I love Alchemy. I think it works really well. So long as you can get a Silas prop, of course. Um, and Utkane, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Um, how is the unbridled uh, fury cells on Shadow Song? Uh, you're starting with 20k gold and looking to make uh, make on your alt server. <laughs> um, unbridled fury is okay, I would say. Um, I didn't check specifically on Jawakening what kind of cells he got. This is a lot of maroon ink. This should keep me going for a little while at least. I'm not going to make all of this uh, now, but I'll just do a fair amount of it for the, for the moment. Um, um, even with Silas, uh, even, even, even with Silas, it's a, uh, a loss for you. Um, Unbridled Fury, is that the one that needs the um, Sand Shifter? It could be the price of the Sand Shifter that's um, uh, making that difference. Perhaps. And Gyurika, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry if I butchered your name, but thank you for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Uh, from uh, farm mats, farmed mats are free. Not necessarily, Specker. You've got to got to take um, unbridled is six in and it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Hendex. I couldn't remember what was the other one I was thinking of uh, that uses the uh, sand shifter. Oh, Dimitri's Draft of Deception, that's the one I was thinking of. Um, yes, you've got to think, you've got to value your time, Speckett, obviously. Ah, oh, happiest, how are you? Thanks for stopping by, hope you're doing well. We're just going through and making a whole load of maroon ink for the moment. Farming mats is fun, and fun gold making is the most valuable gold making. Couldn't have said it better myself, Rose, definitely. Um... <laughs> Lovely to have all the uh, all the resident gold makers here. So I don't think I need to make too much of this. Uh, I mean, the uncanny things do need 50 maroon ink, so that is a fair amount. I will need to make at least 100, I guess. Maybe even more than that. Maybe I should just let this run through. Shouldn't take too long, it's going quite fast. We're okay, and then I will have to remember to go back to Jawakening and uh, reapply the uh, the Silas buff so that I've got it ready for next time I need to craft as well. We find it fun, but uh, we're farmers at heart. Uh, some can't stand it, but each to their own. Exactly, Will. Um, and what one person finds fun, the other person uh, finds something else fun, which is the uh, which is the great thing about this game. There's always something for everyone. Uh, time for a nest full of feathers for you soon. Is that bedtime for you, uh, Darkwing? Uh, can you suggest me which uh, dungs to start dungeons to start farming uh, for Transmog? Of course, uh, if you have experience in that. I don't personally, uh, Alex Anderson, um, but I would suggest. Um, if it's transmog it itself, I'm not sure exactly. Um, uh, I guess it helps when you get a group and uh, and down them. Not necessarily, uh, Doc Otto. You could you could. Um, it doesn't matter how many um, you're competing against, so long as you're the uh, the cheapest or the most recent poster, um, you should be able to make some gold. Certainly. Welcome to the world of ink making. I, it seems to be a bit like that. Uh, Commander Bond at the moment, doesn't it? Uh, but yes, uh, as Thomas suggested, uh, Student Albatross is uh, one of the ones to follow in, in terms of farms. He's got loads and loads of YouTube videos on uh, various different farms. Oh, you mean in more, more mode? Okay. Uh, Zolfaric, that was the one. And uh, Diamore North, usually the most recommended. Thank you, Happiest. Um, Master knows uh, what dungeon to farm for gold. <laughs> yes, ask the uh, Persephone bot. <laughs> um, and want to buy gold as well. He does quite. He's got quite a few different ones um, on different farms. You have zero idea. I mainly flip, I, and I mainly do professions. But uh, there are plenty of people out there who do enjoy doing um, enjoy doing. Um, 
transmog farms. Completely <laughs> lost my train of thought there. Uh, student mostly uh, transmog farms. Really like um, I baby powder for his videos on mat farms. Oh, I haven't heard of that one actually. Um, we have to mill the herbs to get the pigment, uh, then craft the pigments with one silver to make the ink, just so you can craft the stuff you want. Blizz is on point. <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite a multi-step process. I understand uh, the meaning there. Uh, Sky Reach, that's the one I keep on forgetting. Um, uh, there is a load of farms. Uh, you much prefer uh, map farming yourself. Yeah, I, I I think if I was to choose the, them both, well, actually if I was to do them, I'd probably do a mix of both, to be honest. Uh, for raw gold, uh, uh, yeah, the bird, the bird do on drain, or yeah, the sky reach one, uh, for raw gold definitely. Um, but I don't know if any of the legion ones uh, surpass that at that point. Um, do that now on your speed set, rogue. Four uh, K in less than thirty minutes. The Arakoa, always a nice race. That uh, iron docks. That's another interesting one. I haven't tried much of the uh, the wad stuff, to be honest. But then I don't really try these uh, these kind of farms myself anyway. When I do my farming, I'm usually going for something specific like Ember Silk or um, Shadow Silk or something like that. Iron Duck Star Queen. We can pick up some nice uh, pet from, from the uh, from the Legion ones. Oh, okay. It's a strange thing uh, for inscription to have three steps when mining and smelting um, was taken away. Yeah, it's a bit weird, really, isn't it? You should go straight, straight to the ink um, rather than straight to the ink from the herbs rather than having to do the mill as well. Uh, Cybo, thank you very much for the follow. Good to have you here. Um, you got to either run back to start or uh, be a portal type character. Oh, right, okay. And um, Miniovia uh, Zero Death. Uh, Zero MG, thank you very much to the followers. Well. Sorry if I butchered your name. Right, we've gone to the last hundred of maroon ink. I think we can. Uh, I think we can do this. Um, so is bolts. Uh, do you mean like uh, cloth bolts? Um, that's that's still a thing now, though, isn't it? Yeah, it could, it could be. It could be done with being removed, and you just craft the things without having to make the bolts. I mean, the good thing is, I mean, look at it this way. One is compressing one thing into a smaller amount of another thing. Um, with the bolts, uh, it certainly meant, uh, with, when it came to storage, it was easier to make bolts of everything. Oh, of course, yes. BFA tailoring doesn't have bolts. I hadn't, real I hadn't actually uh, realized that, but you're right. It just goes straight from the cloth, doesn't it? Well, that is much better. Right, last 55, and we'll have done this. Although I've got a feeling we're going to need some um, crimson ink as well. But we'll just let this run through. And then I still haven't uh, restocked on Samadan either. So this is going to be a full evening of uh, restocking everything. Um, embroidered cloth is a bolt of some sort. Uh, yeah, you could, you could think of that actually. It is. Uh, some of the older tailoring has even further stepped, like the imbued and such. Yeah, the frost, the imbued frost weave bolts. Uh, that's another one, isn't it? Uh, they do stack to 200 now. They used to stack to 20 back in the days. So that was the reason for bolts. Yes, it was a big storage thing back then, wasn't it, Cybo? Um, create a custom group, uh, lead the group, uh, then you get put at the entrance of the dungeon in, in a minute. Yeah, that's one of the uh, ways of uh, going back and forth, isn't it? Right, we're done. So uncanny we can make one because we need some more ultramarine ink we just needed to create one anyway just so that it was in my bags extra vessel of the aurora so we'll then go into tsm we go into our groups so we've got uncanny crafting now this has got ignore item variations checked so we're going to have uncanny combatants etched vessel is going to be in there then our uncanny selling has got the other versions fever flare harmonious we'll add in the aurora and then if we make any extra ones of variations that we haven't got yet we'll add those into the list so then uncanny crafting our group operation is not going to have an auctioning operation this is going to have a crafting operation and we'll change this to three of each 10 percent crafting profit that should work okay so now 
when I go to my TSM inscription and go to my groups and uncanny crafting is checked and I restock now we have one more to make and because we had three I've got two one on the auction house one I just made now uh, gathering wise we still are missing a few bits and pieces here we need some light parchment and some ultramarine ink 92 ultramarine ink so that shouldn't take too long to make uh, we've got enough to make it so let's make a hundred and we'll create that there we go um, um, Pnex, thank you very much for the follow hope you're doing well um, did I miss uh, Darkwing going? Um, okay, oh, I got that from that one. Okay. And um, the panda groups, you've got about that. Yeah, the. Um, you Can can you do it with the, the dungeon finder? Uh, you literally just uh, go in um, and then it teleports you back straight back out again. A never-ending ink shuffle. It does seem to be like that, uh, Commander Bond. Uh, for making gold, would I suggest a low, medium, or high pop server? I only really have ex experience on a medium pop server, which is what I consider Shadow Song to be. Um, it's the only server I've ever been on, and Samadam was my main character on there for the, the whole of uh, WoW. So I would say, um, for me, it, it suits my playstyle of not constantly babysitting auctions, and I can post things on usually daily and uh, still get a reasonable amount of sales. And the prices for me are uh, quite good, and uh, the profit margins are usually quite high. Now, obviously, every server is different. High pop servers uh, usually have greater competition. Materials might be cheaper, but the profit margins might be slimmer, so you have to get more volume in sales. But if you're happy to um, repost um, frequently on a um, on a high pop server, then you can still make a decent amount of gold, and, and you're certainly going to get a decent amount of sales. Right, we're done there. We just need some light parchment. I'll pick that up from the vendor to make use of my uh, reputation that I have. So we'll go over here. Straight from my inscription, uh, light parchment. Let's make a stack, two stacks. That should keep me for the moment. Off and, away. and then we'll go to our inscription. Um, can you add an item to a group if you don't have the item? You can, uh, McBainy. What you need to do is actually import it in, but you need to know its item number. So if you go to a site like, um, let's say, go to Wowhead. So we go to Wowhead and you search up for an item like Tide Spray Linen, like that. And then you can see the item number will be the number that you've got here, 152576. So that's the number you want to look at, uh, copy that. And then you need to then import that item. Um, so you go to your groups and say you had a transmog one here and you go to uh, import export and you want to import that into your transmog you can import the item here you paste the item just I uh, colon and then the number like that and then that will import and click on import that will import tie spray linen into that group so it's a, a slightly clunky way of doing it but it, it does work that way that would be how I'll do that but I'm not going to do that because I've got that on uh, Samadan at the moment so we'll leave that there and go through them. Um, on Argent Dawn you make uh, 60 gold profit on deep sea bags. The mats are 110, they sell for 170. That's a full server and you can get more on a medium pop. Also, uh, staying on top of auctions on a high full pop can be overwhelming. As Gwilin said, yeah, pretty much. Um, that's my impression as, as to what a high pop server is like. I guess my competitor to making money. Uh, and on Chris, um, how much would you say uh, max vendor price should be for uh, scrapping? Should you scrap um, uh, vendor, uh, scrap or vendor uh, 70 gold green? Um, I don't know really. I tend to vendor stuff over scrapping it just simply from preference. I don't sort of make that dis uh, distinction. Um, it's more down to convenience than anything else really. Um, the good thing about vendoring something is you get a fixed gold amount for it, whereas when you scrap something you don't know exactly what you're going to get. 
life's like a box of scraps. <laughs> um, so let's go through and we need to make everything we need. We've got all of that lot done. And that's all done. We can make all of these. So let's make another vessel, a fire flash that time, a couple of highborn compendiums, and then Tortolan contract and another highborn compendium. And then we can go through and post all of those on. And let me just check that group has got that one on. I don't think it has. So our uncanny selling, we need to expand that to include the etched vessel of the fire flash. Add that into the list. And then we can go here and we'll go to auctioning, turn on uncanny selling and run a post scan of all of those. So now we've incorporated uncanny gear into our uh, inscription rotation. Uh, the next thing um, I was, was suggested uh, to me on the, um, on the YouTube videos was to get um, the Vantus rune for inscription. That could be nice. If I go here to my Unlearned tab, um, I've got lots of things I could do here. Rajani, um, Alder Accord would be really nice if I got the... Um, uh, Rustbot Resistance would be another one, and, and Cohen, actually. Um, I think I could... I could buy that. I think I'm revered already. And then um, if I could get a, um, a Vantus Rune for Nihilotha, that could be uh, useful. If I just run through uh, Alephava Vantus runes, yeah, exactly, Do as Doc Otter said. Um, you found four extra bag uh, and sold it, um, that's all. <laughs> uh, any sites about uh, that have accurate uh, realm population data? Not anymore, uh, Killoff. Um, I don't think any of them do um, post that data anymore. Uh, while progress, actually, as Metcat said, would be useful in terms of knowing which kind of uh, raiding guilds are active and things like that. Um, is there a link to my TSM profiles? There is indeed. Uh, paste bin. You can go and have a look over there and you can get all my uh, profiles as they are currently. Uh, inscription hasn't been uh, set up yet, but um, you're more than welcome to take those and uh, pick whichever bits you, uh, you like. Because uh, you can see all the guilds uh, that do mythics and you can estimate the population. Yeah, the thing that's probably the closest you can get, isn't it, Metcat? Uh, any setup for engineering? Uh, gliders, uh, mounts, pets. Um, I don't do engineering yet. It's one of, one of the ones on my list that I need to get. Um, I could make a character to get it first. Um, but yeah, I think those sort of things uh, would be useful. Uh, mad outputs, uh, definitely. Um, but yes, I don't have one on my pace bin, unfortunately. So, am I done with inscription for now? I think I am made loads of stuff um, I don't want to do any more on you just yet let's just check through my other characters we need to go back to to awakening we need to re-establish the Silas buff so we'll do that now whilst I remember and but only uh, gliders um, okay that's interesting to know I would like to do engineering it, it's a it's quite an interesting uh, profession with all its subcrafts, I think you can sell a few things, especially with these sort of like the the higher end mounts. So I haven't got the buff running, so let's just apply the buff, and then I'll just exit out again. So I've got that ready for next time. And then let's go down the list. Um, Erfen, let's have a look at you uh, from the leather working side of things. Um, so we, what have we done so far? We did about 140,000 on Samadan. About two hundred and forty thousand on Jawakening, about forty nine thousand on inscription on Stavadan. Now let's see what Erfan's got in the mail this week. Lots of expires again, so thirty nine thousand for Erfan. Uh, so leather working's quite good here. Um, not it's been surpassed by inscription at this stage. I suspect some uncanny sales mainly. More than anything else. There we go, it's starting to come through now. Uh, we've got some marks of honour sent through to us as well. So we could probably get some more rank 3s here. So let's just open up that as well. And uh, so 9,000 leather treads, uh, the bow, uh, another bow there, Drums of Fury as well. So 39,000. I'll take that. 
and then that takes us to a total of 469,000 on this character. Let's run a post scan of the things that we've got here. Shimmer scale, um, coarse leather barding and coarse leather vests and shimmer scale items, all the basics really. And then we move on to the uncanny gear, which is my main seller. I think we have, is it three or five of each of these? Uh, let's post them all on. Uh, interdimensional uh, companion repository, uh, two um, and canny recipes for engineering as well. Sky Golem uh, Mecha Mark II uh, deployable attire rearranger. Yeah, those are all a good one, definitely. Um, been wanting to steal my enchanting and tailoring strings for ages. Um, if you want my enchanting and tailoring strings specifically, like with the bracelet super shuffle, um, do check out um, the uh, shuffle spreadsheet because that has the strings for that specifically. Make sure it works on your server um, before trying it out and go through the methods uh, suggested there. Um, disenchant the blues, scrap the greens on a leather worker, send the, uh, or whoever uh, can make the item for the cheapest, it's usually a leather worker, and then send that to um, the next, uh, to the, the enchanter, and then you can uh, disenchant that for your veiled crystals. So let's go over to, let me just check leather working. We are missing some uncanny rank threes. We've got them all here. Uh, we're missing some rank threes on the uncanny uh, male side. So we need to finish this out. Uh, now that we've done the comp stomps, we can uh, finish this ones. Um, it says uh, crafting price uh, divided by 1.7 is not valid, can't post anything. So is that from the alchemy side of things? Crafting price divided by 1.7. Um, what I would suggest is um, go through the steps that are on, um, assuming you have alchemy and you have the Silas uh, tools of the trade. Um, on my YouTube channel, uh, if I do a link to that there, there is a specific alchemy playlist and the last video goes through how I set up uh, that specifically um, for alchemy because it takes, um, it needs a, a few custom price sources that um, you might be missing on that front. So I'd suggest go and have a look at that playlist and um, and that might be able to point you in the, um, in the right uh, direction. Uh, Ilgenoth, um, a boss where you have to uh, practice uh, social distancing. Got you laughing. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, I need to do... Uh, I can't fit through here because my brutal is too big. So I just have to go through here. Let's go on to... Let's fly. Should be easier. Um, where do I want to go? Over here. Get my bearings again. And so... Oops. Let's jump down here. Oh, I can't steer straight. Right, okay, so we have, we should have a decent amount of marks of honor here. Uh, we have, how many marks? Doesn't tell me. Uh, Earthen has 32 marks of honor. So it should just show me uh, the rank threes that I'm missing here. This is quite useful. So, uncombatants, bow, male arm guards. So there's five, five we're missing. So let's buy these. These are the last rank threes I need. We might as well get the full set as I'm making some of these. We might as well be as efficient as possible. So let's learn all of these. It's very contagious. <laughs> Um, if you wipe it makes it nice to get uh, mind control so you don't have a repair bill. <laughs> That's an interesting idea actually to avoid the repair bills. Right, so that lot is learnt. Um, I haven't got anything PvP wise, I don't think I do. No. And then we'll head on back. I need to fly myself back over to my safe area. Uh, there's five expulsum there. What's that for? Uh, Bloodstained bone. We'll take that. That'll be easy. Bloodstained bone. Five expulsum. 
we'll use that very easily. Right, okay, so moving on, uh, restocking of this character. Do we have, uh, we've posted everything on for the moment, so let's go check my auctions at the moment. Um, uh, if you're leveling a profession, uh, don't forget the Dartmouth Fair is up today uh, for the plus five skill. Oh, thank you, um, Tegnaro, for uh, suggesting that. I always forget to do that one. Okay, so everything is on, uncanny gear and all. Uh, oh, no, I didn't want to click that. And then let's go to my leatherworking, TSM, groups, restock. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff to restock here. Drums of Fury, Drums of the Mountain, um, Uncanny Combatants Gear. We need Crag Scale, it looks like, for most of that. And we also need, ah, slight problem here, 51 Expulsum. I don't have that much. So let's open up the task list for what we do have. Take the Expirations and that down. So Raw Beast Hide, Stone Hide Leather, Mist Scale, Blood Stain Bow, and Crag Scale is all from the Auction House. I uh, must be low on stock on all of those. But let's just have a check of the prices. Uh, run a shopping scan. I haven't done this in a while actually, so my prices may be out. Um, actually, I'll, that was the uh, scan of everything. Uh, raw beast hide. Currently at six gold ninety-nine. Let's just move this across a little bit so I can see it. There we go. Um, no, so I've got Azeroth Autopilot. Um, have I looked into uh, WoW Pro? No, I haven't, um, Alex Hellstone. What is uh, WoW Pro? Um, does anyone know offhand how long it's take for the Rank 3 work orders to pop up for the uh, Greater Flasks? Seems like you've been waiting forever. It's, it can be easy to miss them, Debt. Um, I think um, I think you can follow those on the um, the WoW Academy Dis Economy Discord and get a notification of it. Um, when it does pop up. So, Bloodstained Bones, I need 189. Currently at 2 gold 90, that's okay. Raw Beast Hide at 6.99. What's my normal price? 4 gold. So, that's quite expensive as well. What is cheap here at the moment? Stone Hide Leather, that's not bad actually, at 2 gold. And the rest is at 2.99. Um, oh, Kazgore, thank you very much for the follow. Um, you're new here, found my stream, uh, looking on the internet for a WoW server with the best economy. Uh, me and your friends wanted uh, to change server for Shadowlands uh, using recent um, EXP boost to level up characters on that server. Can you recommend any server, please? I can only recommend my own server, uh, Shadow Song, which is a medium pop server on the EU. Um, I love it here, um, but obviously your mileage may vary depending on what you want. I would say have a look at um, the Undermine Journal if you're looking at servers and have a look at the prices of things you're looking into, um, the markets you're looking into and see what kind of prices they are, see what kind of sales there are, make a uh, character on that server just to have a look um, and try it out that way. Uh, Steph Cons, thank you very much for the follow, I hope you're doing well. Uh, Wildpro.com, okay, thank you um, Alex Hellstone, I'll have a look at that one, I'll add it to my, um, add it to my bookmarks and have a look at it later. Um, let me just add that in. World of Warcraft. Marvellous, thank you. Uh, you never really use the Discord to look into it. I, I think you can do, um, you can put your name down for roles or something like that, and the WoW Economy Discord will uh, give you a notification, hopefully. Uh, it's a lightweight uh, questing guide and has other guides as well. Uh, it can be a little bit glitchy on uh, rare occasions, but you've been using it since uh, before Kata. Oh, okay. Um, but yes, as Will said, best economy is a little bit subjective, to be fair, certainly. Um, someone asked you if you have uh, 4.7 million to spare for the Brutusaur. <laughs> is it somewhere from here? <laughs> it could be, Metcake, you never know. Okay, so there's things I need to buy here. Um, let's just rescan this, which is just the stuff that I'm looking to buy. Uh, Miss Scale looks like a good price. I need 62 of it. Three gold is... Uh, Considering my mat cost is set to be a more manual uh, 12 gold, I might buy a little bit more than I need here. So let's buy in for a penny, in for a pound, let's buy it all. That way I won't need any more for a while. Uh, stone hide leather though, um, there's two at two gold, which is fine, but then the rest is at um, 
$2.99. Uh, $2.78 is my mat cost. Uh, for Stonehide, I only actually need 90 here. This is for the uh, the other drums. So let's take let's just take 88. We'll buy those at that one. Um, if you've got time, how does my uh, material string look like for maroon pigment? Uh, your high bond says it should give profit, but you don't trust the uh, TSM string. I used the one from uh, Billis and Nixia. Um, they made a uh, Reddit post about it. Uh, it was pointed out to me by uh, the lovely Rasheen. Um, let's see if I can find it. World of Warcraft. Actually, no, I can find it on my Myro board. Let's go have a look at that. Um, and then I'll have a look. Uh, let's move this one over. Once I've logged it in, go into my Myra board. If you do want to ever have, have a look at my my brain of gold making, this is one of the perks I've made available um, for uh, patrons. Uh, you can have viewing access to this Myra board. It's got basically all my thoughts and uh, brain flow charts of uh, various things over throughout uh, things like sort of uh, Telt, Shadow Eye Silk, uh, Robes of Eternal Rule, various things I've investigated um, but the ins I've, I've blocked it out by professions as well so if we go over here to no that's that's alchemy we want to, whoops click the wrong thing uh, we want to go over to inscription, which is, let me just zoom out a bit more, I missed it, it's over here. So this is the Reddit post uh, that Billis made uh, from BFA Pigments, and I use this string here, and the link to the post is here. So if I make a copy of that, then that will give you a link it there I got there eventually there we go so hopefully that's useful to you and that's how I got it uh, fireman good evening to you hope you're doing well thanks for stopping by you just caught me at the end of the stream but lovely to have you here uh, any idea of why your crafting queue uh, thinks you need uh, more expulsion per uh, item than, than you actually do to craft mm, I'm not sure exactly on that one I don't know why it would be more, certainly. Um, How did you become a patron? It's, um, let me see if I can put the link in. Uh, Patreon. I have ignored the spelling of it. I spelt it wrong. There's a link to it there. Um, but any any support is really, really appreciated. So if you uh, can spare some in this, even this troubling times, it is very much appreciated. Because uh, it will all help towards getting me towards making this my uh, my long-term goal of um, basically being able to do this full-time. Eventually, basically, I want to be able to create content um, and not have my day job and then be able to make YouTube videos and stream and basically provide as much gold-making content as possible is the eventual goal. Um, and so being a part of the patron is, is one of those ways. Um, uh, visions don't run themselves. <laughs> Uh, no problem. Thanks for saying hi. Um, it's thinking you have only uh, rank two patterns instead of three. Oh, interesting. Maybe a slash reload will work on that one. Hopefully. Uh, that might be a bit better. Right, so in terms of what I've got to do here, um, I won't be able to restock on much of this uh, stuff at the moment. Uh, given my state at the moment, I haven't even been able to restock at all on uh, Samadan yet. So we're missing a lot of stuff here. Um, Bloodstained Bone, uh, let me just, whoops, that was the wrong one. Actually, no, we'll do that whilst I'm here. I'm still missing a few bits and pieces. The Raw Beast Hide I was looking at, uh, 6.99. I might be able to buy a little bit of that up. At um, I need 500 of it for my Drums of Fury. Uh, so let's buy a thousand of it, to, so we've got enough at the moment. And then uh, Stonehide Leather, I'm sure I got those two, I didn't register those two, so I'm just going to buy two just so that it's got them. And then Bloodstained Bone, I need 189. 
Um, we're at 290. I'll just buy the 190. 190. Crag scale. Look at the price of crag scale. We need 220, but I'm not paying 150 gold for it. That's insane. I'll buy this at 109. Uh, I'll get 200 of those. But that is a uh, definite markup on crag scale. It's either 150 gold or 500,000 gold. So uh, <laughs> I think that's going to be my my barrier. I might have to go and get some crag scale at that price. Um, let's just go over here. Uh, I'll pick up the purchases anyway. So there'll be some things I can make from this. Rather buy 500,000. <laughs> Yeah, not at that price. So we're missing the crank scale, we're missing the expulsum. We can at least make some drums. I won't make them now because I won't have time. Um, let's make some uncanny leather leggings whilst we are here though. So it's the male that we're, uh, we're missing the crank scale for and the bow, unfortunately. So let's just make these whilst we're here. I have to make these individually uh, because we're making them in the middle of the list and the same with that that should be enough for the moment and just make sure they're all in on our list uncanny selling yep everything's in our list so we should then be able to post this long up uh, it's just the uh, normal pigments not the uh, Najatar ones but thank you for reminding me about uh, my marigold okay no problems uh, silent mouse um, for the um, Zinanthid ones I'm not sure whether I've set a price for those that's a good point though, uh, well reminded. I'll have to look into that. I don't know what I'd set it for for those ones. Um, uh, not sure if the crack scale uh, drops from them. Um, what was that from? Um, skin, 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 so a good idea not to turn into a question as you the dogs, snapdragons rather. Uh, not sure if they drop from them. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, Mushy. Uh, very kind of you to uh, remind me. I'm gonna post this lot on. And I even, even in all this uh, time that I was live, I haven't been able to restock in all my characters. I know I've been chatting with all you lovely folk, um, so uh, my attentions have been directed elsewhere. Um, but I've still got to restock on Samadan. A load of enchants to uh, do that. We need to get a load of expulsum over to Earthen. Oh, I haven't even looked at Nadamas. Let's quickly do that. One last thing, I promise. I promise, one last thing. Uh, El Morte's fine at the moment, we're not doing much making gold on there. But Nadamas is my vendor seller. I'm doing the vendor flips from the Brutosaur. Um, so, I don't want some of attention. <laughs> I should be okay. Let me just go do this one last thing. Where's the mailbox? Uh, it's just here somewhere. Is it outside or onside? It should be... What looks like a mailbox? It's right here on the map. There it is. How the hell are you supposed to notice that? Right, so in terms of uh, vendor cells, oh, we do have a, um, a reply for the uh, rebuke, imbued silkweed bag. I'll read that off stream uh, so I don't um, identify the seller on that one. But uh, we have made um, some sales here of basically um, mainly vendor sales, chemical blasting camp, powdered sugar, everything you can buy off the Brutosaur and marking it up. So we've got 5,200 gold for the week. So well, that's not bad at all. Let's take my sales and we'll deal with that one. There we go. So that's very nice. Um, so that's literally just a vendor flip of going on here and uh, run a post scan, so distilled water, nylon thread, Fusaka, uh, just marking up the price of all of those and then a few other bits and pieces that I picked up in my questing and then we'll just go and look on my vendor, actually let's just quickly look at that first, so that's everything there and then we have TSM here and we'll go to my groups and we'll buy anything we're missing on so we need some wildflower for sucker and powdered sugar and we'll add those onto our list and we'll post those up again yep and people buy it it's amazing 
So there we go, we've got 13,000 gold now um, as a horde character, so we're all right. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Um, are my vendors sell operations on my pace bin? They are not, I don't think. Um, but I can put those on um, if you give me a reminder on Discord um, during the week. I'll pop it on there if I haven't done it already. But it's really handy. It's just a very small group. Um, I'll very quickly uh, show you the operation um, for auctioning them. Vendor sell is literally just 220, 120% um, vendor buy or the maximum of 1,000% vendor buy or 200% uh, vendor buy and that's about it, basically. <laughs> Poor Horde. Um, um, but that's basically it. Um, and then the um, vendoring operation by vendor items is literally enable buying a restock quantity of 200 and uh, that's what my uh, stock quantity is of 200 of each item. And that's how it works. Uh, Cosmic Wild, thank you very much for the follow. Right, I really must finish there. I've gone over time. So, uh, big, big, massive uh, thank you, everyone who's hung out in chat tonight. I really enjoyed tonight. It's been lovely having you here. Uh, I hope we've all shared some decent uh, gold making tips and uh, all learnt a thing or two uh, from the Wowhead blog and on stream. So, thank you all for participating. Uh, thank you all for your subs and your cheers. It really does appreciate. Uh, I really do appreciate it and uh, it gets me closer to my goal um, of doing this full time. So thank you all. Uh, Super Tofu, thank you very much for the follow as well. Let's have a look um, and see if we can throw who is on and who can we throw a raid on over to. Um, now, interestingly... I don't see anyone on who I would not. Uh, pork chop um, and super tofu. Thank you for the follows. I don't see anyone on that I can throw a host on over to that I would do normally. So I might just end it there as I've gone over over anyway. So um, until my next stream, we'll hopefully do method. <laughs> um, my. My normal stream will be next Sunday, but um, as I'm working from home, I should have more energy uh, this week. So hopefully it will be next Tuesday. Um, I'll do another stream, same sort of time as today. So if I don't uh, stream, then I'll let you know. Uh, until next time, I hope you have a lovely week of gold making. And from myself and sadly the absent cats. Um, oh, thank you, Fireman. That's very kind of you. I really do appreciate that. Um, from myself and the cats that aren't here, I wish you good night and uh, have a safe week um, with all the, um, the quarantines and lockdowns and everything. I hope you uh, stay well, stay so safe, stay healthy and uh, good night and farewell.